<laughs> hey everybody welcome to cloak and stagger live does shadow of the demon lord uh this is our second time streaming this and this is the first time everybody actually has a level to their name so that'll give them a little more uh a little more leeway a little more ability to do some stuff but uh i see uh quite a few people in here actually thanks for being here we're excited to to get down to this and to see what we can do but before we actually get started I would like to go down the list and introduce everybody again. So, I got everybody on screen there. Hey, everybody. Hey. Hi. Hello. We're going we're gonna to go down the list here and just kind of introduce everyone again. So, up first, we have Brunhilde the Dwarf. You want to say a little something about yourself there, Hi. Brunhilde? <laughs> yeah, one second. Hold on. Is she a dwarf? Okay, there we go. Not? Sorry, I was, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was having feedback through Twitch. Uh, hi, I'm Brunhilde. Uh, I am a little stubby dwarf, and um, I like to hit things with my shield. Uh, I'm also a warrior now. So. Yay. <laughs> All right. Um, next, we have a Jaeger the Human. T tell us about yourself, Jaeger. Yeah, hey, guys. Uh, in the channel, Redline, if you've been watching with us up to this point, I was... Hograk, uh, the dwarf, the unclassed dwarf, um, up to this point. We're going to do a little rewrite of history. Uh, as fun as the dwarf voice is, I simply couldn't commit to that over a long time. <laughs> so switch to human, uh, human warrior for the at least start of this campaign. Um, hopefully we'll uncover some of my backstory uh, as we get on to this. But uh, excited to get into day one of the, of the official campaign. All right. All right, and the clockwork. Yeah, hey, uh, I am uh, on Cloak and Stagger. I'm Moose. Uh, if you've been around for a while, I also DM our regular Dungeons and Dragons group on Saturday, which is on hiatus right now because of you know what. Um, but I am playing the Clockwork named Orion. Uh, I am currently a rogue, and we'll see how that goes. Teratic, the Teratic. every damn thing under the moon. I'm Teratic, uh, every damn thing <laughs> under the moon. I'm a changeling. Mm -hmm. uh, so switching faces is my game, and I'm really good at it. My other thing I do now is I'm a healer. Uh, I'm a magician with a bunch of healing spells, so hopefully I'll keep everybody else fighting. <laughs> Don't and, let us die. And yeah. last but not Fine. least, Thrak the Goblin. Hey, everybody, I'm Thrak the Goblin. Uh, <laughs> I'm a rogue. <laughs> um as well i am a sheep rustler and tracker um i live in the woods and do lots of stuff <laughs> i just hang out in the woods <laughs> so to catch everybody up to speed our party here uh has been through quite a bit already from escaping being slaves on their way to being sold off in a slave capital to traversing through a forest that wanted them dead about every hour uh, all the way up north to the Northern Reach, which is way, way far away from where they started uh, with their NPC companions. They have just entered the town of Crossings, and with that, we can get started. So let me put this up here. Crossings. We're fucking here. You enter a town that looks a bit bleak it's dark even though it shouldn't be everything looks like it has dust or maybe uh maybe it's not dust maybe it's remnants of some type of machinery either way you see large smokestacks in the distance you see a few folks off to the side kind of sitting and mind their own business you see a city that's lit up day or night this is crossings so are we are we just now entering the city Yes, you are entering okay. the city with Hike and Torsten in front of you. Okay, uh, and what time of day is it? Well, it should be about four o'clock. Uh, again, because it's so cloudy and whatnot, shouldn't look like it. Okay. So um, once you enter into the city, uh, Hike looks around a bit just and stops where she is and just lets out a huge sigh and turns to you all and says... Well, I was hoping it'd look a little bit different, but welcome to Crossings. Different how? Uh, the city's uh, industry tends to outweigh its, well, 
And she looks down at the streets where it's all wet and a couple rats go scurrying by. It's health. Those were some well-timed rats. <laughs> yes, they were. <laughs> uh, I'll turn around to the rest of the the group. Uh, I'm assuming I'm kind of walking, maybe maybe a little bit behind um, uh, behind Teratic since he was sort of leading us. And I'll say, "We're home, everyone. Game over." Wait, home? What do you mean? Oh, we're not staying here. We're not. Wait, we're not staying here. I well, hadn't planned on it. Soon, but <laughs> I don't oh. plan on it. Wouldn't mind finding a, a local inn and maybe making that my home for a bit. Mm, hmm. Wouldn't mind having some drinks there. Don't know about home, though. Is there a reputable inn nearby, Hike? There's a few inns up and down the row here. Uh, but first, uh... I suppose it would help to tell you a little bit more about where you are. So, we're in what's known as Grievings. It's, uh, one of the poorer districts of the city, but it is huge in its own right, and the people here are, are good people. Don't be fooled by what you see. I promise, they're, everyone looks out for their own here. Um, that being said, uh, now that we're here, I'm not sure... Uh, what your plans were. I appreciate you accompanying me, but might I recommend maybe checking the sheriff's office if you're looking for work? There's always something going on that needs to be dealt with. Hmm. And I'll kind of look at the sky a little bit and uh, and I'll try to kind of line that up with uh, what time I think it is. <laughs> Mine is all the smog and smoke in the sky. Uh... And I'll say, I, I, I believe perhaps we should rest first and maybe see the uh, sheriff tomorrow. If you would like to, sure. Um, if it's a matter of daylight, I am sorry to say, but uh, what you see now is about as bright as it ever will be. Not so much a brightness issue, because I don't need any sleep, but... I kind of motion to everybody else. We've been traveling all day. Hmm. I see. Well, do as you wish, but, uh, I'm afraid this is where we must part ways for now. I need to return to my family home, and, and not to bog you down with too much detail, but it's a little personal. It's been a long time, and it might be difficult. What about you, Torsten? Well, I, uh... I suppose I'll make sure, uh, PK gets home and then... I don't know. I'll figure something out. Maybe I'll find you lot again. Well, we'll be at one of... And I'll kind of look down the street. How many bars can I, and taverns can I just see with <laughs> from where I'm standing? Uh, from where you're standing, you see a couple of small, maybe, inns? But... It'd be difficult to even call them taverns. Uh, on down the road a good ways, though, you think you see something that could be established as maybe an inn slash tavern, perhaps, but not from where you're standing. So I'll, uh, I'll kind of tap Jaeger on his, uh, like, like kind of pat him with the backside of my hand on his shoulder and point to it and say, perhaps we'll be there? <laughs> yeah, that, uh, yeah, that looks about right. That doesn't seem too bad. Is there like a, a neon lady with a leg kicking out in front of it? <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. You don't see anything such as that. I'm afraid. <laughs> okay. Well, that's fine. No Hooters girl. What do you mean? Um. Is there a barmaid out front just wiggling around? Yeah. I wanna. I wanna turn to Thrak. Does he still have his dog Dick with him? Sure do. How's Dick looking? How's, how's Dick looking? <laughs> oh, he's looking mighty healthy. <laughs> okay. Dick recovered. Um, Very good. Uh, for the record, everyone out there, his 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 dog's name is Dick. And <laughs> during our previous session, his dick got sick. And there's a chance he may die. But he recovered. So, there he is. Poor Dick. Almost fell um, off his dick. So, uh... Yeah, I'll say, well... Uh, it certainly was 
it was something traveling with you. Uh, we saw a lot of really weird stuff, and we dumped a lot of bodies in a lot of rivers. <laughs> no, so... you dropped a lot of bodies in the rivers. We just kind of watched you. It is the best place to put a body. Uh, I wouldn't say that too loud, you know. Yeah, I look around. Did anybody? <laughs> Overhearing this talk. I also look around. And looking around you, it's no one's even paying attention to you, even though people are passing right past you. I'll just kind of shrug. So I uh, see uh, Brunhilde and Orion be worried, and I, uh, I say, uh, don't worry, guys. I think we're among friends here. I would hope so. <laughs> uh, I say so. Uh, perhaps we head down to this maybe tavern and see if they'll let Dick in. <laughs> well, oh, that sounds like a good idea, and. We will meet again, friends, I am sure. Um, enjoy your stay and the grievings. And she kind of shrugs and smiles and waves off at you and starts walking uh, north. Be safe, Hike. Be safe. And with that, Torsten and Hike exit the group. I will... <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll start walking uh, down the the road there and i i want to kind of uh take in um take in the the surroundings and see like what kind of buildings and shops and stuff that are on the way okay so as you guys are walking down this road um just looking around you see a couple of they're very small shops it looks like they may sell a this one may sell a couple supplies. This one may sell a couple of potions. This one maybe sells some sort of gear. Uh, a lot of stuff isn't well named here. Uh, what comes to mind is a lot of these are maybe like, uh, what would I compare them to? You know those food trucks that like park on the side of the road some places? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's kind of like a lot of that, except they are buildings and they're maybe as, as big as uh, maybe an actual food truck, perhaps? You get the idea that this isn't really like the place shack. for... Yeah, like a, like a bunch of shacks. But you get the idea that this isn't really a, a market-type area. Perhaps we should look for the market, guys. Are you looking to buy something? Well, no. It just seems like there might be better establishments. I think as long as Jaeger has beer, he's going to be happy. <laughs> That's cool. I, yes. But would you rather drink piss or would you rather drink beer? I don't drink anything, so I don't That's know. How much we get? <laughs> it's not the, it's not the quantity. It's the quality. Oh, when you get enough, the quality doesn't matter. That quantity correct. can oh, have a quality God. all of its own. That sounds oh. terrible. I'll say, uh, <laughs> perhaps we can look around a bit. We may have some time. Uh, so I'll, I'll, uh, I want to look for the nearest, um, person that doesn't look like they're just gonna, uh, brush me off and try and, uh, kind of flag them down and then my eyes, like, almost like I'm opening my eyes wider, like, they get a little brighter, the purple gets a little brighter, so I kind of want to flag someone down. But, excuse me, excuse me! Are you looking for a specific type of person other than one who doesn't look like they're just gonna ignore you? Yeah. What are they? What, what kind of person we thinking? Uh, I mean, th I assume this is kind of a somewhat bustling street. A little bit. Um, I mean, I, literally, I'm just maybe looking for somebody that's not necessarily uh gonna try and uh stab me and take my money, <laughs> um, but but not necessarily somebody that's going to be freaked out by a robot trying to talk to him. Okay. You start trying to flag down someone who will listen to you, and the first few people kind of just glance at you and keep going about their business. And uh, one man with a drink in his hand, who seems to be kind of tall and gangly, uh, not the most handsome of fellows, short haircut, and uh, looks at you like he's a little bit fascinated, kind of walks up to you, sipping on his drink. You, you, you looking for somebody? Um. Yes, we are looking for the best place to get 
Uh, a beverage. Not for me, but for my companions. Like ten beverages. Like ten beverages. Ten beverages? What? Well, if you don't mind me asking, stranger, what are you? Me? Oh, uh, I am a clockwork. Uh, have you not seen one of my kind before? Well, most of the kind you're gonna see around here are just the, the, the halflings and people like me. We don't see people like you, really. Hi, uh... Well, pleasure to meet you. My name is 0R-10N. I step up, uh, <laughs> noticing the, the sudden interest in my friend. And I say, and I'm a Jaeger. I travel with this hunk of tin. He's my carer. All right, well, Jaeger and... and uh, z zero... Zero R dash one zero Orion. O Orion is fine. O Orion? Uh, if y'all are looking for drinks, just keep heading down the, the the tier trail here, and you'll you'll reach the Fallen Soldier. That's one of the places I go to. That's where, actually, and he just holds up his drink. I just came from. Well, I appreciate it, and I uh, flick a copper at him. Um, <laughs> I hope he catches that. Yeah, he, 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 I'll just, we won't make that a thing. He, he just, he catches it in it, it, his free hand. He's like, uh, sure. Thank, thank you. And he, uh, starts walking away. <laughs> I, I turn to, I turn to Jaeger. Oh, we're learning how to flip coins now, are we? Um, and, uh, as we start to, I guess we're going to start to walk off. I'll say to the soldier. Okay. Onward we go. We follow. Yeah, let's get there. I sort of follow at a little bit of a distance from our iron and metal friend here, but yes, I do follow too. Okay. So you guys are all heading uh, north then to the Fallen Soldier, or what this man told you then, yeah? Yep. Yes. Okay. So you guys start making your way north. Uh, you pass by numerous establishments, maybe? A lot of houses along the road you're in right now. Uh... Eventually, you actually make it to an intersection of a much larger road. Uh, let me see something here real quick, because that road has a name. Did we pass that bar that you first mentioned? Uh, are you talking about the... which one? The one the, that uh, didn't have the neon lady sign? Oh, no. No, you have not. Uh, but you guys make it to an intersection that's rather large, and it looks like there's a couple carriages going back and forth across it. Uh, you're able to pass it without any issue, of course, but it looks like this is one of the main robes, robes, roads of this entire place. Uh, regardless, you keep going north, looking for the place the uh, gangly man mentioned. And eventually, you see a tavern sign dangling off of a roof that says, The Fallen Soldier. We going um, in? I want to yeah. look around. Is there... What's the outside of this place look like? Are there uh, people standing around it? Is there, like, any kind of animals hitched up anywhere? Or uh, There's no animals hitched up or anything like that around it. Um, there's no one directly outside of it, but there's still a bit of foot traffic here. Uh, looking a bit more to the northeast, you can see that the uh, pathway continues out to what looks like the ocean, and there's some docks down there. Oh, shit, the ocean. Where are we? <laughs> uh, it's not okay. ocean. It's a massive lake. Sorry, massive lake. Okay. Um, in that case, I'll just start walking up toward the uh, fallen soldier. Okay. We going inside? Going inside. Yep. Going yep. in. All right. So you guys enter the fine establishment. Not so fine, honestly. It looks pretty much like everything else here. But the inside doesn't seem too bad. Uh, once you go inside, see, so give it a minute to load here. There it goes. Uh, immediately after entering, you are hailed to by a man behind the counter who looks, see what the buttons are, like this. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Nice. Lovely. That's my dude. As you hear, oh, I didn't get Thrack in there. There he is. As he yells out, hey, come in, come in. Welcome, welcome to... What is that? Get that damn dog out of here! No animals in here! No, oh, he's a really nice dog. No animals! He's he's kind of waving to you. 
<laughs> well, uh, you think you could leash him up outside? Would he be a good boy out there? I mean, he might be a good boy, but who knows what's going to happen to him out there. The rest of you, come on over. You with the dog? Nah, n none of that. Not in here. You got a stable or something? No, I don't have a damn stable. This is a tavern. I give you beer, not hay and horses. I'll be honest, guys. I uh, I don't think we're going to have better luck elsewhere with uh, with the dirty dick. He's clean. He's, He's not clean. wrong. He's just a bit of mud. <laughs> well, we, uh, we either got to tie him up outside or uh, you all are going sober because I am not. And I start kind of walking more forward into the end. Okay, you all should have control over your tokens, so you can move yeah. freely right now. Uh, I Tired cannot up. because I don't see outside. anything. Oh. Say that again, Dave. Uh, Teradoc, can you bring me some, uh, me and Dick some beer outside? I can make that happen for you, buddy. There we go. Did nice. I fix you, Ryan? Yeah. All right, good. sorry about that. Um, for now, I'm just gonna follow Jaeger. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna wait. Y'all are going in? Oh, shit. We got somebody going in, somebody going out. Drag, did you go back outside? Oh. Yeah, Dick and I went back outside. Teradoc's gonna bring me some beer. Okay. Barkeep, can we uh, yeah, just sit ahead. at any table? Do we need to come to you for an order? Nah, come here. Come on. I haven't seen you all before. Come over here. Let me get you a drink. I walk up to the uh, bar. Yeah, walk up to him. Sit down. All right, two copper each. Who's getting them? All right, just leave it on the table. Y'all look like a good lot. And he turns uh, around, and starts getting some, some rum out and some cups. Am I putting two copper on the table? Uh, I'm just. Uh, I'll, I'll hold my hand up and say, uh, I'm not drinking. Just here for the conversation. I say, hold on to your money, and then I take out a silver and give it to him. And I say, as many as that gets. And also, just for the sake of... Uh, Wait, was that enough for everybody? Here. It's ten uh, copper to one silver, right? So. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. I shrug um, and uh, swipe my two copper back. What were you saying, Orion? <laughs> I was say, uh, for the sake of the stream, uh, since I don't really have, like, a like an expression, like a face or anything. Uh, my my face plate is uh, pretty much just, just barren um, with a, a pair of small kind of purple lights for eyes. And then there's a like a gash, like a piece missing from my over my face, like where my mouth would be. And it almost looks like the unimpressed kind of half smile. And that's just what's always on my face. Um, and I'll say, uh, I'll say, you can take, uh, or I'll, uh, I'll look to Jaeger and when he hands me it, whenever he hands me the beer, I'll give my beer. All right. Uh, the jovial man comes back around with a couple of drinks and sets them out in front of, uh, two of you that he sees do have mouths. Specifically, he slides one to Teratic and, uh, sets one in front of Jaeger. I snap and be like, hey, another. It's that way I can get Thrax. And then he sees the <laughs> silver and he was like, oh, we're tipping early. All right. And he just snatches it immediately. And he goes. What? He didn't hear that? Uh, nah, he was over just dealing with the rum. Oh, shit. <laughs> I knew you guys had a good look about you. Hold on, I'll get you some more. And then he starts just getting more rum and cups out. So, what, uh, what brings you into my place here today, huh? Well, just we're just rolling into town. Go ahead, Jaeger. Yeah, just, uh, you know, been without a drink and I'm quite thirsty. He hands a drink to Brunhilde and gives another one to Teratic. Once what? I got the drinks, I'm going to start meandering out front to, uh, Thrak. All right. Well, it's, yes, it's, uh... You know, always good to see new faces and uh, lovely grievings here. All you, right. You came at a little bit of a, an odd time, though. Why do you say that? that? Well, 
between you and me, uh, there's a... Uh, I don't like saying this out loud because I don't want to scare the other folks, but y'all seem nice in. enough. Me it's, too. There's been some disappearances recently. Oh, and I take a sip of my beer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's weird because we used to have a few more regulars and they're just gone. And they're not the type to just leave. You know, this is a home and they like it here specifically. But then, oh man, when, when Father Gregory went missing, uh, he's a he's a good man, but damn, that just that one hit everyone hard. He was Sorry. your father. No, 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 Father Gregory. No, no. He's a he's a holy man of the. He's got the faith on him. He has Sorry. holes in him. <laughs> I, I take a sip of beer and I say, the father was a regular here at your bar. No, he wasn't really a regular uh, drinker. I mean, he'd come in and he'd he'd do that whole finger thing, and you know, you shouldn't drink as much, and I always go, ah, Father, you know how it is. But he he, he just <laughs> he was a good man. He he tried to do right, and everyone everyone respected him for it. But he's been missing for about two days now, and just. Those damn brown cloaks haven't done a damn thing about it. They just came in like, have you seen father? And we said, no. Oh, well, I guess he's gone. Yeah, and just useless. So I'm, I'm unloading my problems on y'all. Y'all want another drink instead? <laughs> I just kind of raise an eyebrow and say, yeah, I'd love another. And he, uh, he goes to their little rum bucket, rum barrel, gets out some more for you. Well, this could be a problem. I, Perhaps uh, they should help them out. Brown cloaks. Have you guys heard that phrase before? And I'll uh, probably I'll referring kinda, to the guards. I'll chime back up and I'll say, "The brown cloaks you speak of. Who is that?" The brown cloaks are like, uh, they're like the the city police, kinda. You know, you know. Technically, you know, we the empire is, you know, that we're in their area. But honestly, us crossings folks, we're we're kind of our own thing, really. We, we got our own militia, we got our own police force, and we try to do right by us. But those brown cloaks are just... God, just be honest, ain't none of them around. They're kind of shit. So, uh, <laughs> I, I kind of rub my finger around one of the two copper that I had laid on the counter originally. <laughs> and say, you know, uh, my pockets aren't quite as deep as they'd like. Um... Do you have any sort of fun that you guys have put together, maybe the communities put together to uh, help you out with this type of problem? Well, what? Yes, yes and no. Okay, and let me elaborate on that. So, the, when the brown cloaks decided that the, all these folks missing was just, you know, who gives a shit, basically, they started to just give up. They started to to just disband the entire operation. So any reward that I'm aware of, officially, don't exist no more. Uh, well, what about unofficially? Well, unofficially, hmm. You know, maybe, actually. There's this one, uh, there's this one good lady. Oh, she's, she's just a kid, but she's she's got heart. Her name is uh, Elise, I think. She's actually, uh, a sergeant of the militia. She's been investigating this more than anybody, and uh, and he leans in close again. And uh, she was she was told to drop it, but even after her shift, every night and only at night, I still see her patrolling, walking around, asking if anyone's seen them or those folks gone missing. She's not supposed to, but she does it anyhow because she's got a good heart. And what was her name? Uh, Elise. I think she's the. I think she's a sergeant in that group. So, Sergeant Elise. And who is the missing father's name again? Oh, that's Father Gregory. Good man. And I look at Orion and I say, Orion, remember that. And then I. My eyes just kind of light up a little bit and then dim. And I'll say, Got it. Well, is it that nifty? <laughs> I don't actually store anything. I just like to do that. <laughs> <laughs> and where Sounds could great. We find... And I give you like a little pat on the back. <laughs> like, and job. where could we find this, Sergeant Elise? Wait, are you guys? Are you guys actually gonna? Are you gonna try to help her? 
I mean, it's the right thing to do. <laughs> I'm more saying money. it's worth my time. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We just gave you a lot of it. <laughs> I'll tell you what then. I'll tell you what. Since we're, we seem like friends now, so we should at least know each other's names, right? That sounds fair. So you can call me Quarian Verge, or just Verge for short. That's what everyone else does. My name is 0R-10N. It's, it's Orion. <laughs> you gave him a product number. <laughs> 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 All right, uh, Z 0R. Well, that's like, you know, one of them fancy codes. They, they staple into you, you kind, right? It's like on your ass somewhere or something. That's... I kind of, I, I look at Jaeger and say, is there something on my ass? Oh, <laughs> uh, I don't want to find out. But this is my companion, Orion. I am Jaeger, and this is Brunhilda. Hi. And yeah, that's all we have it for. You had another one with you. He took off with a drink, though. Yeah, our companions outside there, uh, Thrak and Teratic, with uh, the mutt you kicked out, Dick. Yeah, the animals in here just, that's no good for business, you know? It's already smelly and shitty outside. Let's keep it w that way, not inside. I respect that. That's fair. I take uh, a sip of beer. And I'll, uh, how's everybody's drinks looking? How's your drink looking, Jaeger? Uh, I am at the last 20%. It looks, uh, yeah. And I'll look over at Brunhilda. How's her drink? gone okay i'll uh i'll pull out uh four more copper and put it on the table or on the bar and i'll say uh one more drink for each of my friends he he holds one hand up shaking his head no nah, no nah, if you guys are gonna if you guys are gonna do something about father gregory and turns around and starts getting the drinks you you're just gonna get these this is early payment right here and he starts just making more drinks for you i shrug and finish off the last 20 percent of my drink in a, in a single gulp <laughs> Why, thank you. And he uh, hooks the two of you that can drink up with some more rum. This is your what? How many cups now? Second? Yeah. Third? I think so. Third. Okay. Third. Well, you're third, third, my second. Just let yeah. me know if you hit four, okay? That's the magic number. <laughs> <laughs> Banes for everybody. Um, I'll say, uh, Mr. Verge, uh, do you have rooms here? Ah, uh, no, nah, I'm sorry, but this is just, uh, it's just a tavern here. No beds, none of that. Where would be the best place to stay? We're not from here. Well, don't... All right, look, now, I wouldn't lead you astray. I have it so far, right? So don't don't get any bad ideas. Folks normally do. But the Hidden Knife is a good place to stay, and it's right across the road. Oh, what an interesting name. I'll, uh, I'll glance over at uh, Jaeger and kind of brighten up my eyes a little bit and I'll say, hidden knife! And then I'll kind of point at my arm. <laughs> <laughs> and I just kind of shake my head quickly to... Mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> oh. And uh, I, I turn back at uh, Verge. And I say, so Verge, about Sergeant Elise, where did you say we could find her? Well, she's... Uh... During the daytime, she she won't talk to you. She takes her job seriously. She, you know, does her best. She, w I think you'll only be able to talk to her at nighttime. And she's always tra trailing up and down the road, just back and forth, all the way across the city, looking for anything out of the ordinary, seeing if she sees something else weird or someone who knows about Father Gregory or the others gone missing. So she, she should be actually really easy to find. Hmm. And what does she look like? Uh, well... Let me pull that up so I can tell you what she looks like. <laughs> <laughs> we got him. Uh, again, young, very young. Uh, she's got blonde hair. Uh, she's quite the looker too, but don't don't go down that route. Trust me, you don't don't do that. Uh, rather <laughs> tough too, tough. Always carrying a shield. So, armored up, blonde lady, really pretty, which is contrary to most folks around these parts. Should be easy to miss. A young blonde, huh? And I kind of take a look around the bar to see kind of generally what the attractiveness of the other patrons in the bar are. Well, uh, just looking around the bar itself, uh, you only see one other woman here, and it's a halfling. And she looks rather, rather uh, plain, I'd say. <laughs> I say, hmm, yeah, I could, uh, 
I could go for some for a better environment. I don't know what you mean. Just be careful. That tree, that tree has axes attached to it. Okay, you be careful. <laughs> but uh, more importantly, more importantly, if you guys are really gonna go talk to her about this, then uh, there's some other things I can tell you that may help. Well, I got uh, at least a minute before I finish this uh, drink, so go ahead. All right, so so get this. This is what I've heard from a few folks right here. Okay, there was uh, oh, one of the me. one of the regulars I talked about. Uh, one of them's named Tyrus, right? The next soldier. He uh, he he had a he had a little bit of an issue. He 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 wasn't too right up here anymore. Uh, kept saying he was touched by the mercurial god revel. Uh, I, I don't know what the hell he was talking about. But before he went missing. He claimed that one of the other folks that went missing, a little boy named Trout, was taken by some weird man wearing a hooded cloak. And the first thing I thought, ah, oh, that damn crooked gray cloaks. But then he, then he went in more detail. He said this, he said it looked like a man, but something about it's the way it moved was a little off. Which, ah, who knows. And did anyone else see this hooded figure? Actually, I have heard something else about it. Apparently, this this same figure, same description, has been heard skulking through the alleys here. And any time anyone tried to approach him, just took off. Like nothing ever happened. Just instantly. I think that might have something to do with this shit. Sounds like a boogeyman story to me. Yeah, it does. And you know, he, Tyrus was a little off his rocker, but... I mean, at this point... What, what else are we going to think? Hmm. Well, perhaps we'll run into Elise tonight. It was starting to look, uh, well, it was already looking dark out, but I think we might be getting about that time. Hmm. Let me think if I know anything else here. Hold on. There's something <laughs> else someone told me. Burge, I noticed it's, uh, quite dark dark here how do you guys keep track of uh kind of what time it is oh first before hold up i know <laughs> i'm gonna answer your question but i got i got a little more info i can be useful verge is useful here so okay uh, get this about a week ago it's about a week ago two men dressed way too damn good to be in grievings and they they had their faces covered with what do they call pom pomanders it's like that that silky shit some some weirdos wherever their face they came in here and got some drinks. And then they went to a table and were talking to a, lo a few local, uh, I think they're the, the, it's the gang members. They go, they got some dumbass name like the Rude Boys or something. But <laughs> they were they were talking to him about the old Moore house. Moore house? Yeah. What's a Moore house? Now that place, it's a, well, Moore was their last name. But uh, there was a, he's this infamous guy. He was a demonologist that used to live there. Place has been abandoned for decades. That's some weird, that's weird stuff, right? Demonologist, huh? And yeah. I, uh, kind of shoot over a glance at wow. him. And I'll, I'll glance back at Jaeger and sort of dim my eyes a little bit. Where is this Moore house? Uh, the Moore house? Let me see. You guys are in my tavern. You go out, you take a left, but if you hook around all the way and come back around, uh, Damn, where's that Moore house? <laughs> I, I uh, kind of started clenching my fists. Oh, and just... I know where the Moore house is. Hold on. You exit out of here and you hook a right and you go around behind my place down one of the alleys. You hook another right down the road there. About, I think it's about a 10 minute walk. You see an old shitty house. It looks way, <laughs> I know there's a lot of shitty of them around here, but this one looks way shittier than all the rest. That's the Moore house. But I don't know if y'all should just go go walk in there or nothing that's where uh that's i hear the, the rude boys end up hanging around there often i uh, just let out kind of a, a breath um that was noticeably tensed up in my body um i say okay let's uh go find this sergeant elise and see what information we can find so probably have some more information about the other disappearances too. Does she I... patrol around here, or do we have to go walking the city? 
Uh, she passes right by here every night, multiple times. Like I said, she'll go all the way to the docks down the road. You lot probably came in, which was, uh, did y'all come in on the uh, stream of tears? Yes. Ah, okay. Well, yeah, if you came in the stream of tears, it goes all the way to the docks and all the way back out the southern gate. It's It enters in grievings and stays in grievings the whole time. I grab uh, grab my drink that's about halfway still full. I say, well, let's join Thrak and Teratic outside. And uh, if she passes right by here, well, let's just hang out with them outside and uh, wait to see this Elise roll by. What do you guys think? That sounds good. Sounds good to me, friend. Verge, appreciate the information. Uh, can't promise you anything, but... Uh, We'll at least have a conversation with the lease and see where this goes. Do our best. And then I hold up my beer or my rum and I say, and uh, thanks for the drinks. All right, good luck, y'all. Hope you find the Father Gregory. Guys. This place needs him, you know? I take another sip as uh, we start walking, or as I start walking <laughs> out back to the door. Yeah, I follow. I do the same. Okay. You guys all head back outside the Fallen Soldier, and you see your buddies Teratic and Thrak there, kind of just hanging out and drinking, talking. As they walk up, I say, good thing you guys are here. It looks like we might have a fight or something in a second. There's these two guys in cloaks been eyeing us the last 20 minutes. Oh, we have some interesting information about them. Are we about to throw down as I sort of kind of grab for my... Uh, Knife uh, from my back pocket. Whoa, 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 whoa. Perhaps a perhaps are. a stealthier approach. Well, how about we watch them? Who are they? You guys know? I uh, look over. Do I see the people they're talking about? Yeah. Do we see them? I'd like to also look. Make a perception check. All of you. All of you. Um. Let us see. Oh, where's my shit? Big rolls. Big yeah, rolls. boy. I can see clearly now the rum is gone. <laughs> uh oh. Ooh. How's that possible? What did you do? That is a good question. Plus one, I guess. Okay. Orion, Jaeger, and Teratic. Um, <laughs> you immediately glance over in the area that Teratic was just speaking of, and these two figures instantly disappear into the shadows in one of the alleys the moment a lot of you come outside. Did I catch a look at them before they backed into the shadows? Like what they look like? Or just kind of generally, like, what were they wearing? Not necessarily facial features or anything like that. Cloaked and hooded. I'm looking to see what color the cloak was. Yeah, that. Oh, very dark. Maybe black, maybe super deep brown. I'll, uh, I'll turn to, uh, Thrak and Teratic and say, Were they watching you the whole time? They seem to be watching our little buddy here. He kind of doesn't belong. There's not too many goblins running around these parts so i just shrug and say uh well looks like they're gone now but might have some information on them and then i tell teratic and thrak kind of a summary of what we heard from the uh the barkeep okay well i'd, I'd rather not tussle with them well, well perhaps we should find this the least lady and Ooh. see what she has to say i'm assuming he recounted that as well yeah hey so you've been told about sergeant elise you've been told about uh this morehouse the rude boys basically everything you just heard to go i went over with uh all the others all you have that same knowledge now too well i guess we're off to find her uh, yeah i well, was uh... i mean it sounds like she'll find us if we're here long enough so that's what I'm thinking. Is. We stay here, keep someone going in for drinks. Just catch her when she goes by. I'll say, uh, 
I'll, I'll kind of sit down out of the way of, of traffic going in and out of the uh, tavern. And I'll, um, I'll say, if you would like to go in, I can hang out here and keep an eye out for her. Uh, I don't go in if Dick's not allowed in. I'm okay sitting out here. Well, I mean, I guess we can wait. <laughs> it looks a little odd with all of us out here, though. I'll kind of look to Jaeger and say, um, This kind of reminds me of the night we spent at Bandit's Crossing, just sitting, and no bandits ever came. <laughs> I just look down at my rum and kind of let out a laugh. Say, so, yeah, something a little like that. Um, I have a, uh, I'm, I smile and laugh as I say that, but also sort of have a, a worried look on my face as I kind of swirl my rum around, but don't really drink it. I'll give him a little pat on the back. I'll say, uh, so we'll just hang out here until we maybe see this, uh, Sergeant Elise. As long as too, mo too many of those uh, cloaked fellas don't come back. I just kind of plop down on the ground and sit with my arms back behind me and say, yeah, uh, I guess we're waiting here. Okay, time's about to pass then. We're going to wait and see if uh, the sergeant comes by. Yep. Yeah. All right. About an hour and a half passes of you all guys just kind of hanging out there. Sometimes going in for drinks, uh, hearing your friend Verge yell from all the way outside every time that door opens. Uh, eventually, a f character comes by that fits the description of a young blonde lady trolling up the street. And let me show you what she looks like. Now right. she's walking up, I'll, I'll tap uh, Jaeger like, like a dozen times, like, blonde lady, blonde lady, there's blonde lady. <laughs> Uh, I'll drag her out here. I you. think he's trying to tell you that's her. A lady looking like this uh, starts walking past the tavern. Ooh. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so I uh, I jump up from my seated position and say, ma'am, 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 ma'am. <laughs> she pauses and turns to you and just looks. It's a blonde lady. I would like whisper back to everybody else. <laughs> I can't hey, say uh, that. Hi, uh, we were just talking to uh, to Verge in the bar. Uh, he had mentioned you guys are dealing with a little bit of a problem, and you're looking to solve that problem. Turns out she starts walking up to you immediately. I'll say, and I'll kind of, I'll kind of talk over uh, Jaeger for just a second. I'll say, uh, are you Sar are you Sergeant? El and then I'll just step, <laughs> like immediately, just sit right back. <laughs> she hastily turns to you. I am. What problem are you talking about? She's staring down at Jaeger. I go, hey, hey, listen. Uh, I'm just saying. I've heard you have a problem with missing people, and me and my group here, we are problem solvers. What do you know? I what have you heard? Listen, I just heard you guys had a man of the cloth go missing. There was a little boy who was taken. There was a gang over at the Moore house. And I kind of get a more serious expression on my face where an old demonologist lived. And I'd really, really like to maybe hear a little more information on that so I can help you in your town. And then I kind of get a more relaxed look on my back on my face, you know, for the right price at least. She looks quizzically at the tavern itself for a moment, and then back at you. I haven't seen your face before. Who are you? So we uh, just came in from out of town uh, and happened upon your... And I kind of look around at all the um, poor-looking you know, environment and say, your uh, nice little town you got here. It's great here. <laughs> Grievings is what it is. She crosses her arms. And Charming uh, is what it is. Enjoyed oh, some of the local the bar. <laughs> I mean, it's a giant beast. Not everyone's gonna let you show off your dick. It's a dog. It's a dog. It's not a wolf. It's a dog. <laughs> Cheer the place up. And I say, you know what? I'm sorry. I didn't start this conversation off right. 
we know your name. You don't our, know ours. I'm Jaeger. Oh, this, this is, is the part where... <laughs> this is oh. Orion, and I just kind of cut him off. Yeah, yeah, no, I just, like, put a... I just put a hand on Orion's shoulder. No, 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 no. Uh, and then I look over at Brunhilda for her to introduce herself. I'm Brunhilda. Thrak and Dick. I'm Thrak. He's Dick. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to tell. And I'm, uh, Teratic, and I been down and do a nice little bow. So, Elise, and I go to kind of grab her hand into mine. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, yes, she pulls her hand away. I am Elise, uh, Sergeant Elise of the M- Crossings Militia, uh, specifically the Grievings District. Um, you all have learned a lot in a short amount of time. I patrol these streets up and down every night. I just found you, and you know so much already. Are you... I- Oh, let me guess. You're looking for some money or payment or rewards, aren't you? She knows what we're talking about. (laughs) Well, like I said, we're problem solvers. (sighs) For money? (laughs) You get paid to patrol these streets. Why shouldn't we get paid to do something for the city? (laughs) I I wish... I just sit there with my hand in my face. I wish I was getting paid right now to do this, but I'm actually off the clock right now. I'm afraid uh, what I'm trying to do is sort of, uh, well, I've been barred from doing it, but I'm doing it anyhow when I'm not working. So I figure it works out in the end. Uh, If I suppose you all look rather capable, if you're willing to help me, I could maybe scrounge something together to to give you. Well, that's a good start. Uh, And I kind of look back at the bar. How about I buy you a drink and you can tell me a little bit more about what you have going on? Mm, I need to be about my wits at all times. With the rumors I've heard, at any time, something could show up that's rather dangerous. Hmm. Uh, And I kind of look over at Teratic and Thrak. And I say, uh, maybe a couple of shadowy figures who disappear quickly into the night? Those wouldn't happen to be any of your men, would they? My men? From the militia? No. Yeah. No, if anything, no, no citizen would actually do something like that. I think it's something else. Even the brown cloaks, as awful as they may be, I don't think they'd have it in them to do something like this. But so. I know why no one cares. And it's rather sad. And All the people who have gone missing are just... They're... I don't believe this, no matter what someone's status is, but this is simply what they are. Um, there was Asa Min, she was a little bit older, uh, she was down in her luck and a prostitute, and had a reputation for being drunk. There was Old Peak, he was a paraplegic, he used to live in the alley behind the fallen soldier, he's gone. Trout was a young orphan, he, uh, was also a pickpocket, he's missing. Uh, Tyrus, uh, he was an ex-soldier, used to come here a lot actually, but a little... A little, uh, unique. Enid, the fortune teller, and Vern. He was a blind beggar, and he... I I think his language was worse than Verge's. But all of them were unlikables, or people that... No one would miss. Right. Well, that's no reason to take them missing. That's no reason to give up on them, either. You don't think it could be the Mad Men, do you? The Mad Men? Who do you mean? Isn't that what they're called? Rowdy Boys. The Rude Boys. The Rude Boys. Ah, uh, the Same Rude thing. Boys. Same uh, thing. One of the many gangs in this city. I'm sure they have some hand in something. In this, I... I don't know. I haven't heard anything of the sort. What, what purpose would a gang have of kidnapping destitute people? They have no ransom to pay. The only thing I could assume is if a gang was like that was involved, then maybe someone's paying him? Uh, just about anyone will... I mean, work is work here, you know? The smokestacks is an awful place. The the fields are an awful place. Uh, people take work where they can get it normally. Most Speaking people wouldn't resort of... to such heinous things, but some would. Speaking of people who can pay and people who need work, it looks like your people here need work. And it sounded like there were two men who were pretty well off here about a week ago. 
he talked to some of those rude boys. And uh, where it is, they were talking about the Moore House. What can you tell me about that place? Moore House. Well, I think just about everybody in the city knows about that place. A uh, long, long time ago, uh, the stories I've heard was there used to be a practitioner of the dark arts that lived there. Um, it's been abandoned since before I was born, though. So, I guess maybe a, a gang could make it their, their hideout, but I never thought there'd be something more. And it's, no offense, without uh, probable cause, going by myself after hours is, well, it'd be akin to suicide if I went there alone. Well, what if we went in your place? Or if you came with us. Either way. Hmm. And would I be able step to... up and grab her hand again. Don't mind. <laughs> I'd protect you. Oh my god. Make a... <laughs> Let's see, what would that be? Make a will check with two bands. Jaeger. <laughs> That's fair. Oh jeez. <laughs> That's fair. While he's doing those rolls, how old does she look? Uh, she looks like she might be 20. She's a sergeant. <laughs> Oh, those are big veins. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> she pulls her hand away from you with a, a bit of a disapproving look. I appreciate the, the offer, but I'd rather spend my time just patrolling these streets and checking the alleyways, since that's where the disappearances most likely occur. Or have been occurring, rather. Uh, if you all wanted to check the Moore House, I won't stop you, but I will tell you it is dangerous. But if you find out anything... I'm I'm willing I'm willing to pay. Hmm. And I uh, kind of pull my hand back, sort of uh, to my side, and I say, "Well, that's good enough." And I kind of look around at the group. You guys could, would you guys could use some more coin? Oh. All this. Wouldn't turn it down. Right, it's your I, turn to talk. <laughs> and I, I look at Teratic. <laughs> yeah, money is good. I may be asking you for information instead later on, though. Sure. If I can help with what I can, if you're willing to help me, fair is fair. Fair is fair. Uh, you want to help us uh, see the night through by going in there and getting us around? She takes uh, one step back. What, what are you talking about? Buying us some more rum. <laughs> oh. What do you think I was talking about? I'm sorry. A lot of people tend to treat me a certain way because of how I look. Um, I, I'm i afraid I'd rather just keep patrolling for now. I mean, you don't have to partake. Mm. Every minute of downtime I don't spend looking is another minute the father is missing, as well as all those others. Fair enough. Right. Well, if you all do decide to go to the Moore House, again, just be careful. But I'll be patrolling till late, late, late in the evening. So if you do discover something, find me again, okay? Sounds good. Well, we'll be here. If you pass by, we'll see you. We'll, we'll flag you down. Right. Well, good luck, you all. And she starts heading off to the docks. Well, it seems like we found some work, and it only took an hour. <laughs> I finish off my rum, uh, and I say, yep. Yeah. Uh, you guys want to go hit it tonight, or would you like to get some sleep at a, at the inn across the street? We hear the hidden dagger is a nice little place to lay the head down. Uh, let's get some rest. Uh, the, from how that house sounds, it sounds like it might be a nocturnal house. So we check it during the day. That's my vote. That sounds good. Very early in the morning. Well, I think it's decided. So what are y'all doing? Around, I'll look around uh, for the direction that the uh, the hidden dagger's in. Uh, directly across the street. It's actually been staring you right in the face this whole time. <laughs> well, let's go, and well, I start heading that way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go ahead. 
So you yeah, guys go ahead and head on into the hidden blade or hidden knife. I forget which one it was. But you go in there and it looks it looks run down. It looks about as you'd expect given the outside of it as well. Lovely. Uh, but there's a gentleman there who uh, is willing to offer you some rooms. Are you guys wanting to bed for the night now? Yes. Um, yes. Not yeah. as well. Okay. Uh, in that case, it's going to cost two copper from each of you. I'm okay with that. So make sure to subtract yeah. that. And that seems like a good spot to take a quick 10 minute break. Hey. Sweet. Alrighty. So we're going to go take a quick break. Get some more drinks real fast and be back in about, uh, say, 10 minutes of good. I'll go there, bye. Okay. Be back in 10.
Hey, we're back. Hey, we're back. We're back. Let me get tunes rolling again. So we're going to go back to this because technically it's still nighttime because you guys rested throughout the night. At the uh, hidden knife. Uh, without being mugged or robbed in your sleep or anything like that. Miracles. And you gained the benefits of uh, rest. You know, I don't think y'all needed it. But you feel better for it. My feelings. Mm -hmm. I just kind of sat and like kind of tinkered like with my arm. And then uh, also kind of uh, was just looking at Jimothy. Just kind of doing your just just hanging out, passing time. Yeah. Do you have like I, a, a shutdown assume... mode, like where you could just like make time go by putting yourself in a passive state or something? I I, I probably could, yeah, <laughs> um, but I just choose not to. Um, and I I want to assume that I uh, I was in a room with Jaeger. Yeah, that's fine. You guys all get up. You're all up and about. I'm assuming y'all are eating some foods. Make sure to deduct those rations. Yes. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Doing it now. Those cost money. I'm not hungry. Except, except you. Ever. <laughs> so, uh, actually, a quick clarif uh, clarifying question on that. Uh, in the guide, it is days of rations. So, like, I have seven days of rations. Is that three separate meals, or is it one meal for one day? Seven it's days of rations means you have enough rations for each day. So, so if, would that be three rations a day, or so twenty-one rations in total? If, yeah, if you want to eat, yeah, three meals a day. But that's either way. That's it's counting. If you eat once a day or three times a day, that's using one of your days. So you can eat once and be done, or you can eat three times and be done, and it's still the same amount for that day. Does that make sense? Okay, let's just call it seven rations then. This works. Okay. We only have to eat once a day in this world. Eh, these are the boring stuff. So, I'm gonna track it, but it ain't boring. Right. Once eight hours passes by, and I, I know that it's uh, about 3 a.m., I'll go and sort of shake Jaeger uh, awake. <sighs> it's hey, time. Yeah. It's time to go on an adventure. <laughs> Is it? And uh, I kind of wake up with a little bit of, of headache from the three rums just eight hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> say, and, uh, uh, yeah, is it? And I'll say, did you remember to get the map? And what? What? What map? The map. Without the map, we can't do anything. <laughs> what? What map are you trying? Where are we going? Oh, it's just around the corner. We'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we we take the right, then the other right, and then the shitty house. We're there. It's fine. Okay. No map. And uh, I'll, I'll say, uh, I'll say, are you good in here? I'll go wake the others. Uh, yeah. And I start putting on the brigadine armor um, instead of the, um, what was it, tattered clothes? I don't know what the fucking word was. The ragged clothes I had on. So I put it on the brigadine armor under the assumption that because it's quite early in the morning, we're probably not going to be seen by uh, townspeople. So shouldn't trigger any alarms hopefully it's not the worst idea and i'll uh i'll walk out into the hallway and i'll go over to uh teratic's room and i'll kind of knock on the door teratic what is it friend did you get the map did you remember the map don't worry about a map i'm a master navigator indeed you are it's time for an adventure <laughs> and i'll kind of clink on down to the next door orion is very I'll, excited uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I'll uh, knock on uh, Brunhilda's door. Brunhilda. Hi. Are you awake? Now I am. All right, it's time for an adventure. Come on. And I'll oh, kind of joy. cut my step on, on down to uh, Thrax room, and I'll <laughs> knock on his door too. Oh good lord, that. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> yep. Of metal. Thrax, get your dick in order. It's time for an adventure. <laughs> we're ready. We're ready. Yeah, Thrak, right, when you came in with that dog, away. the innkeeper kind of just like he was. It almost like he just didn't give two shits. He just took your money, <laughs> kind of glanced at the dog, and went, uh, and then you went to your room. <laughs> it's what the innkeeper. Sh it's what the tavern keeper should have done. <laughs> I'll uh, and I'll uh, 
I'll just kind of head downstairs to the lobby. Yeah, I'll um, also put on my brigadine armor uh, and put my fancy clothes in my bag. All right. So you all are meeting in the lobby? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Okay. As soon as uh, a lot of you get down there, uh, the, there's a, there is a man awake at the counter right now that you briefly spoke to, gave all your rooms. He just glances up. seems to be writing something, but he just glances up and sees the armor y'all are wearing and uh, says, uh, early morning plundering, huh? And then goes back to We're writing. going on an adventure. <laughs> That's not what you think. <laughs> right. I don't care. Just don't do it here. <laughs> no, we won't. And uh, I'll sort Can of... Can I, like... Uh, just kind of meander outside onto the um, front kind of entryway and I want to look out and see if I can see anybody maybe watching the the uh, tavern we stayed at. Sure, make a perception okay. check. And also, Brunhilda, what are you doing? Before we leave, I wanted to go up to the Yankee. Uh, excuse me, sir. Do you by chance have any cloaks? Like a spare one. I'll buy it from you. Nope. No cloaks. Oh, terrible. I just carry on. Uh, looking around, Orion, it looks like the street's empty at the moment. You haven't seen anyone walking up and down the road uh, right now. I'll just kind of make note of that. In my head, I'm like, well, the coast is clear. <laughs> we really should sort of think like about getting new place. armor. Maybe we'll find some. <laughs> I don't think it'll be better. <laughs> so I just kind of shift my my armor around on my chest well you guys uh ready to go check this out and make a little coin uh, ready as i will be all right let's go okay all right so you guys are going to follow the instructions verge gave you yep. um so you walk back past his uh fallen soldier down the alley to the to the right of it and then you hook a right immediately and you follow a road for just a couple minutes, about three or four minutes until the road hooks again after curving for a while to the right. One more time. You do the same again. And after about five minutes, you approach what you can only assume is the Moore house. In the distance, there is a very large oh. clock tower behind it, but closer to you is a large foreboding building with a symbol on top of it. Perhaps a, an e eagle, angel, and something like that. But once you reach this area, um, we'll say, uh, Teratic, make a perception check. Yay. I was about to ask if I could make one. Okay. Um, down one of the alleyways that you're crossing, you see three man, men nonchalantly walking out into the road a little bit. What Not the corner of your eye. Cloaks or anything like that? Nope. They're wearing, uh... Actually, hold up, because I can show you what they're wearing. Pull them out. They look a bit like this. Hmm. Do they have the sword out while they walk? No. <laughs> no, they don't. Okay. Uh, but they don't look the friendly type. I'm and going to... Notice a weapon sheath. Oh, uh, yeah, he can see everything on them right now. They are armed, but not actively. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's about this time, since a few seconds have gone by. Uh, they're out in the road now, a little bit a ways in front of you, as one of them yells out, Don't know why you stopped here, but you don't need to be. You look new in town, so I recommend you just turn around and go back to the other side of the city with the coins area or whatever you type like. I'll kind of, I'll like look down kind of at myself and then look at everybody else and I'll turn around and look behind us. Are, are you talking to us, friend? Yep, I am. So again, don't want no trouble. Turn around and leave. And what authority do you have? 
He unsheaths a long blade from his side. It doesn't look, look qu quite like a sword, but it looks very agile. Maybe like a really long knife. I believe I have all the authority right here with me. Last warning. Turn Are around. Are the same thing? Do what? Are they all wearing the same thing? Well, there's no, but you know. <laughs> well, no, no, and I, I wasn't saying that because it's three. I was asking like Are in, they uniform. Uniform. They, oh they no, like they're not uniform. uniformed. Okay. Matching colors or anything? <laughs> <laughs> uh, some, some red or blue bandanas on. We represent the Bloods. <laughs> nah, nothing um, like that. They are together. That's, that's all you can tell. And I'll say, uh, I'll kind of step forward just a little bit. And I'll kind of lean in and I'll say, but we're on an adventure. <laughs> oh, you don't want to stop his adventure. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I, uh, I put one hand on Orion's shoulder to my left. And I kind of, kind of, uh, hunch over a bit. And I kind of stumble, uh, a couple of steps forward. And I say, oh, hey, listen. And I, I'm, I'm <laughs> acting acting drunk here uh acting. we've been we've been throwing him throwing him back at the um the, the tavern he he had <laughs> really great rum uh and we heard the story about the abandoned really big building uh and the guys with the really kind of small swords um <laughs> <laughs> and we were wanting a spooky ghost story. Uh, and it was abandoned, but here you guys are. I don't know. Um, you guys want to have a ghost story party with us? Yeah, you can make a perception check for me with uh, one band. I can do that. Perception. Do they have reinforcements coming? So, you don't see anyone else around you right now, other than what's going on here. It's not good. Alright, Jaeger. You don't hear it, but you see whispering into the one in front's ears. Uh, to which he kind of puffs his chest out a bit after whatever he heard. Hmm. So what say, fellas? Ghost stories? <laughs> I'd say I was told to make sure no one comes here, but I'd say even more, you look like a guy who's willing to part with the money he has on him. So... And the other two draw their weapons as well. I'd say it's time for a good mugging, as we are going to enter some combat. Hey! Oh, you shouldn't have done that. I'll just kind of, I'll kind of pronounce adventure time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I gotta cancel this song first. All right, so we're gonna go into some fast rounds first, as as you guys know. You always get to go first. So, who's taking a fast turn? Fast turn. Anybody else? All right, just go um, ahead and do it. Just do it. Yeah, just do it, yeah. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and use my new spell, Magic Dart, on that lead guy. All right, let's see it. I hit the button. This now is the first spell waiting. cast of the entire game. Well, minus the emphasis. I know. By the way, in case you missed it, Jamie, uh, B.R. Smith dropped three fortunes worth of bits in the chat. So he just wanted those <laughs> banked. He didn't send them to anybody yet. You're banking fortune? Okay, I'll, I'll let that go for now, but you can't bank that shit. No, when yeah, they get nothing. in a, a moment where it's like, he's going to die, I'll be like, not nah, three fortunes, bitch. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> we can't do that. <laughs> uh, that's okay for now because I didn't. Is all I'm saying. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. You decide who to go into, Mr. B.R. Smith. And also, thank you a lot. That is awesome. <laughs> all right, Teratic. Describe to me what a magic dark it, dart is and how it nails this guy. So, arcane magic is the oldest type. It's pretty hardy. So you don't have to worry about hitting. So I'm, you just take magic dart, form it in your mind, and you say the magic word, damage be done, and you throw your arm out and uh, darts hit any target I can see within long range. So that is perfectly aced into his uh, chest. So it looks like two purple shimmering darts fly right at this guy and stick right into him. Uh, it looks like he's kind of just... 
shaken a little bit back by it. Uh, so he, he just he just kind of regains his footing after that. I'll kind of think in my head. That's a great tagline. <laughs> <laughs> Who's next for a fast? Uh, I'm gonna charge with my fast and uh, pop out and and from and go. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna swipe up. Uh, with my club. Oh, first tell everybody what a charge is specifically. Yeah, sure. So a charge is uh, something that I can do during a, an attack motion where I can move and attack in the same motion, but I must do it with one bane, and I can only do that once per round. So it sort of eats up, uh, with that attack, eats up the move. You got it. Go ahead and make it happen. You rush up to this guy with your club, who thought you were just a, a blundering drunk, but when you get in his face, you see his eyes widen as your club socks him right in the ribs as he just <laughs> coughs out air and takes a lot of damage. He seems to be staggering a bit from that. And I'm gonna shit talk uh, the main guy, the loudmouth guy, and be like, "You should have told the story." And uh, are you trying to intimidate him? Yeah. Okay. Make a make a strength challenge roll with two banes. Wait, no. Is there any reason you should be good at intimidating? I mean, I'm a big scary dwarf. Lady. Okay, two banes it is. <laughs> <laughs> He real trains a bit behind on the rolls. Takes a moment for it to pop, it looks like. There you go. <laughs> hey, you're not sure if he heard you or not, but he seems to be ignoring whatever came from your direction as he's engaged with Jaeger right now. At least he didn't just laugh at you. <laughs> I'm not that scary yet. I need bigger button chops. Thrak, what are you doing? I'm going to move up uh, Kitty Corner to Jaeger. And I'm going to uh, have Dick prepare to bite anyone if they come within range. All right. So you've got the trigger. If someone comes near, he's going to take a bite. Got it. 
Uh, that's going to bring us to the last slow turns, which are our other friends up here. Uh, one sees you approaching Bruhilda and is going to run to engage you and take a swing. I'm ready. Oh, ain't hitting shit. Uh, which you barely are able to parry off of you, as it looks like that blade was coming right for your chest. Uh, the other one sees you right up on this dog wolf thing, but all the same sees you approaching uh, their uh, front leader and runs to engage you, so you can get to try to bite at him now. Alright, I'm gonna bite at him. You. And you yeah. do! As soon as he moves into range, your dog reaches out and clamps down on his wrist, which he is able to shake loose, but you can see his wrist bleeding from that. A big dick! He's going to follow up with trying to stab at the rider, because he's going to use his long knife on you. Uh, which he does with success, as he swings at you and cuts your arm real good for four damage. Okay. Here they come, boys. Here come the high rolls. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's round one. We're on round two. New fast turns. I'm going to take another shot with my longbow, this time at the one that just... Uh, snapped at, uh, or that, that took a swing at Thrax. I'm All gonna right. use the trickery again. For the love of God, please. You got this, you got him. Oh, the suspense. It is bye. kind of bye. like... Bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, Ryan fires another shot that's... <laughs> it hits the dirt no, in front Ryan, of him, this back. guy. Oh, the... <laughs> Uh, next fast turn. Bite him. Broken. <laughs> Go for the bite. I'm uh, I'm gonna swing. Bite does connect to this guy as he gets him on his arm again while this guy's trying to swing with his sword or not sword knife. And you you're going uh Jaeger. Yep. Do it up. Uh, oh, that's not the roll. Well, maybe. Go ahead. Is that? That, okay, yeah. all right, you take That's a it. swing at this guy again. <laughs> Just able to lock on to all of his open spots as you club the shit out of him for another six damage. <laughs> Grab my rib. Fuck you! He looks, he looks real hurt. Uh, other fast turns. Um, I'd like to smack the guy in front of me. All right. Okay, how do I do? You're a warrior too, right? Yeah, but I forget how to do the weapon. Remember the three warriors are up here. Remember to add your boom. I'm adding my boom. I did not, but it was okay. <laughs> it worked out really well then. <laughs> it worked out. But That's a lot of red rectangles down there. Alright, so you go oh, to swing at this guy, but you're not able to get a you're not able to get a good read on him. You try to copy Jaeger, but it's just too slow. Any other fast turns? I think just you, Teratic, unless you're going slow. Slow. Okay, that's going to bring us to all of our bandits then, because they're going to continue swinging at their targets. Uh, the bandit right here is going to take a swing at Thrak again. Uh, but this time you're able to... Wait. You have, yep. you have higher defense than that, right? Ooh. Is that a hit? That's a hit. Uh, yep. Oh, shit. All right, he... You just don't see this one coming. As he sinks this one cool, right through the top corner of your chest. Oh, and it it hurts so bad, you start feeling dizzy and fall wow. limp off of your dick. <laughs> no, he fell off his dick. Which, uh... We'll say your body's there, but you keep using that same token for, for dick still. But we have to make you roll to see what Dick does, just like last time. Okay. Alright. Uh, that'll bring us to our next guy, who's going to take another swipe at Jaeger. Uh, this one, Jaeger, you're able to see coming, and you just dodge out of the way. The last one's going to take a swing at Brunhilde. Ha! Don't think so. Bring it on, you bitch. Brunhilde, you're able to parry this blow off as well. So it looks like he's able to co start kind of connect with you, but you're just you're getting in the groove of battle here. 
And that'll bring us to slow turns, which I think only one of you has a turn left. That's me. Uh, I'm yelling to Orion as I go by. Do you want to use my bow instead? I'm going to close it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get up here in this pocket area where I feel safest. And uh, I'm going to do a, a light healing on Thrak. I'll think to myself, maybe. <laughs> it's actually co seriously considering it. <laughs> Which will uh, heal damage equal to your healing rate, Thrax. So I guess you're not I, dead anymore. I am up with one. All right. Or actually, you'd be oh, a shoot. 10 out of 11 damage then. Thrax, you open up your eyes and see that you're laying on the ground for some reason right now. But you are conscious. <laughs> and that'll bring us to a next new round. Round three. Who's fast? Too fast. Me. I'm going to smack this bitch in front of me again. And this time, things will be different. This, this time. time. I hope so. Okay. I'm going to hit for 15. For, for, ah, you, mean, you mean for attack for 15. Because you hit him for six damage as you I smack the shit out of this guy's face. You understood. You understood me to stand me so well. Next fast. Alright, I, I swung, but it was a miss. I think, anyway. You did swing. I like that. I like, I like fluid combat. Yeah, you swung and this guy dodged. And in the meantime, Orion was doing this. I, <laughs> I'm gonna step up like, like, like a few steps. And I'm gonna firmly plant my feet. Wait, 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 wait! wait. Look at my bow. These are fast Listen. rounds, so if you oh, want to no. move. Oh, yeah. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna still take a fast round. I'm just okay. gonna look at my bow, and I'm gonna like look at the guy, and I'm gonna squint, and I'm gonna bring up my bow. <laughs> I'm gonna say, "All right, we can do robot. this." Do it. Do it. My God! <laughs> <laughs> another, another arrow lands in the dirt, shy of hitting your target. <laughs> I look back. I'm gonna hey, look at this shoot thing. Him. <laughs> shoot him! Shoot <laughs> him! I'm trying. <laughs> Poor Ryan, man, that sucks. Who's the Who's the next fast turn? This rack, you're uh, conscious. You going for a slow? Uh, yeah. All right, in that case. I'll do it. Oh, you're going to fast. do it fast? All right. Uh, now that I'm right here up in the middle of everybody, I'm just going to go ahead and do another cast of magic dart into the uh, ringleader. Okay, so you're going to kind of lean around Jaeger and just kind of right at him? Yeah. All right. Shouldn't be uh, any trouble. There we go. Two more shimmering darts stab into him as he's gripping his chest and falls to a knee for one moment and then slowly stands back up, still gripping his knife. And that's gonna bring us to enemy fast turns. Uh, this one right here, uh, seeing you laying on the ground still, Thrak, is gonna take a swing at Dick. <gasps> Don't you hurt that dog! I'll get John Wick in here. <laughs> Where Keanu at? Mm -hmm. uh, what is Dick's defense? 14. Okay. Uh, he's not able to get a, a good stab on Dick because he's really worried about getting his wrist caught in there again. So he just <laughs> his, his blade just clears him. Uh, the next one's going to swing at you again, Jaeger, the one who's really, really wounded. In fact, he's so wounded, he's going to swing with a bane. Yeah, fuck you. Which is still going to connect with you. As he cuts into you for another five damage. Okay, GM. <laughs> uh, the last one's gonna swing at you, Brynhilda. Bring it! As he easily gets past your defenses and cuts you for six damage. There he goes, everybody. As you finally <laughs> get bled. Uh, slow turns. Did everyone go fast? No, no. Thrak hasn't done anything. Uh, I, I don't think I have this turn either. You magic darted. Behind, I'm gonna cower behind Dick True. and yell at him to kill that bastard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are you trying to you trying to get Dick pumped? Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, make a. Um, yeah, pump your dick. 
Make it an, an intelligence. Come on. Oh my Ten. god. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I take the bow and I snap it over my knee. Do you really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, Alright, you shoot a, You shoot another arrow. This one lands a bit north of him. Oh god. <laughs> As you take your bow and you slam it against your metal knee, so you're able to... Yeah, you can snap it. Uh, I look yep, back and go, I the fuck? It. Fuck this thing. <laughs> Next I'm taking it out of my inventory. F faster? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have a dick bite. Oh, you go ahead. You go for the dick arrows. bite as Jaeger so smashes this guy's face in finally as he staggers back and falls down and stops moving. Sure, listen to the ghost story, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Who's next? I'm gonna have dick though. bite this man on the ground. <laughs> okay. All right, he gets a boon from that. Go throw it in the river. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I'm gonna. All right, he he's rips into this guy again, who's bleeding badly. He's still alive, but he is he is just bleeding everywhere right now. Oh, gross! Stop it. It's his time.
Um, all y'all, do, you, do your thug thing you do when there's only one guy and eight of y'all around them. Oh, I love so, it. So yes. I should have clarified it earlier. So with a charge, I roll with a boom. As a warrior, I attack with a bane. Does that mean when I charge, it's a net neutral? Yes. Okay. I hit for 16. You club him for another two? Are you, you sure you don't want to have a ghost story now? Yeah, we're on fast turns right now. Fast turns? Okay. Um, I'm just gonna walk half my speed. Um, like, right here. I'm just gonna have the two parts of my bow in my hand, and I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna stand there and watch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Ryan's done with this shit. Teratic, you going fast or slow? I'll go fast. I'm going to go for the grapple again. All right, let's see it. Strength rolls. Uh, no, no boon this time though, because he's aware you're on his side. Got it. Mm -hmm. uh, this time, the moment he uh, he's looking at Jaeger, and then Brunhilde, and then you, and then Brunhilde, and you, and when he looks at Brunhilde again, that's when you lunge forward, get your arm around arms around him, and have the scalpel up to his neck, as he freezes in place. He's like, whoa, 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 now. Whoa, easy, easy. If you don't know any ghost stories, maybe you know the little buys. Uh, at this point, he's he's not going to have any, he's not going to have the will to fight at the moment, unless y'all just want to kill him. So do y'all want to chill on him for now? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I chill. do, anyways. We chill. In that case. Well, so now you want to talk. Very well. Listen, I'm no, I'm no idiot, and I see you guys are capable fighters, so let's just take it easy. I'm not going anywhere. Here, you want my weapon? You can get my weapon. Yeah, and I take it. I immediately I'll, I'll grab say, it. Uh, do any of them have any bow and arrows? <laughs> <laughs> I hand out, I hand out dude's sword and say, here, you want this? Uh, it's a long knife, and it is a 1d6 weapon. I wouldn't I'll, draw um, that down. I'm not worried about that. Who wants this? I'll shrug and I'll say, it's better than what I've got. And I'll hold on, I'll hold up uh, both sides of my bow that I snapped in half. I feel like Robot Man needs a weapon. Yeah, what, what happened there, bud? Hand it to Orion. It just broke. <laughs> I shouldn't have been pulling it so tight. <laughs> it just broke. Weird. The robot who can't see can't aim for shit. <laughs> <laughs> It was a defective bow, you see? And I hold up the bow both sides of it. Blame the craftsman. <laughs> and I'll uh I'll just kind of uh toss the broken arrow to the side. Or the broken bow. I'll keep all my arrows on my back though. And I'll uh, uh reach out and take the long knife. Alright. I'd like to would we say that he's sufficiently surrounded right now if I moved away? Uh, yes. He is currently held with a scalpel to his neck. I'm gonna walk over here and be like, y'all keep talking. I'm just gonna... <laughs> Loot the bodies. Things out. <laughs> and I'll, I'll step up to him with the knife, and I'll put the long knife I just picked up to his throat, and I'll say, What did you do to my bow? What did <laughs> I, didn't, I, I didn't do nothing to your bow. I, it, not, uh, you got my knife now, so either way, it's, it's, a, it's a win for you. You, you, you got it. And I'll just sort of lean back and I'll just say, likely story, and kind of <laughs> saunter off. So, so what, what do I got to say to just to, to go about my business, huh? How do, how do I walk away from this? Who you work for? Oh, uh, you want to? <laughs> OK, well, that's that's easy enough. I weren't going to pay me anyhow because I'd be dead, it looks like. So so listen. Uh, they, they, they were honestly, I, I don't know their names. They were some posh knobs with some some stupid black cloaks and some hooded things over their face they was paying good but again and he looks over his friends not not that good so whatever to hell with them are you part of the rude boys yeah I'm part of the rude boys uh no no, no i i could i could not be though is that what you want <laughs> what's going on inside of this manor well hells if i know you actually want to go inside that place not particularly. Well, why Word are you scared of going in there? Look, all I know is they hired us to keep an eye on the house to make sure whatever keeps going in and out of it keeps going in and out of it. And that, what's going in and out of it? 
it's actually, <laughs> you know what's kind of funny? His, his eyes go down to the <laughs> bronze scalpel in his neck. Uh, it carries something just like this. It's really uh, fucked up. It's, it's wrapped in a bunch of bandages, I think. It's got some weird cloak on as well. Uh, it's, it's, and its hands are like, like, you see, see my hands that are up right now and not doing anything to put you guys in danger? See these hands? They're like three times as big as my hands, all long and clawy. I don't know what the hell it is, but they made us just to make sure it keeps going in and out. I don't know why. Well, Jaeger, you're getting your spooky story right here. I hope you're happy. <laughs> yeah, apparently. Um, I'll, I'll go and pick up both halves of my bow. <laughs> I'll turn around. Does he fix bows? <laughs> does the thing no in fact it's it's uh sometimes it comes back with bodies so i uh, it's doing something bad i don't i don't know what live bodies or corpses well most of the time live the two men most are the the men who hired you in the fancy clothes <laughs> tell us more about them i can't i don't know nothing more they showed up in Where the damn tavern. They, they approached. Whoa, 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 I'm sorry, I'm interrupting. What? Who, who wants to talk? Where, Where are they going to pay you at? I did they pay you up front? They actually gave a little bit up front, but we were supposed to get more. But uh, I actually don't know that. However, I can tell you. And he points down at the ground. He knows. <laughs> well, that's a lot of use to us right now. So, uh, note, we good? I'm back here, grabbing swords. <laughs> Are we good? <laughs> so, there were just some nice looking guys who had some money, and you were willing to stand in front of a creepy building with a monstrosity coming in and out of this building for a little bit of coin. Hey, a couple gold ain't no little bit of coin when they slam it on the table in front of you, you know? Also, you've been here long? This place sucks. You get money where you can. Speaking of getting money where you can, how much you got on you? Well, you know, I, I, got, a, I, I got enough for a couple of drinks, but I'm, I'm willing to donate to the cause if you want. I... Donate like to the cause. Okay, if you reach in there, and I will tell you ahead of time, so no surprises, so we're cool. I have five bits and three copper on me, and they're all yours. Go on, reach in. Go on. Let me to... ask this of you, rude boy. <laughs> <laughs> Why should I let you leave here and continue to let you do what you're doing in the community? Because whatever you're gonna do is deal with this place, and that's all right by me too. Money's great, money's not good when you're dead, and I am A-OK -okay not being a part of this shit show anymore. So I take a look at uh, the manor above, and I keep in mind that the that uh, Verge mentioned there's a demonologist that's potentially in there, or at least was there at one point. And keep, and I'm thinking about how these folks are protecting this place and that there's this monstrosity coming in and out. I grip my club and I take a swing for his jaw to try to finish him. Okay, uh, go ahead and make a... Actually, I was saying one had to make an attack roll, but you're trying to kill him? Uh, I'm taking a strong swing at his jawline. But is the intention to kill? Yeah. Okay, without any rolls, since he's he's at ease and he's just kind of looking around, the next time he looks at you, your club bashes his nose in as he slams back into Tarotic and leans forward and gets his throat sliced by the scalpel, falls to his knees, and hits the floor. I was going to recommend we force him to come in there with us as another body <laughs> for distraction, but... Uh, also, Jaeger. This works, I guess. Um. Yes. Jaeger. Yes. You gain one point of corruption. Ooh, I'm a bad boy. Uh, meanwhile, while all that was going on, I'm over here taking swords and looking for for valuables. I uh, you know. 
you're able to between the two of them they really didn't have much money you're able to find a total of maybe about 13 more bits and four more copper as well as two long knives which should sell for something wait 13 bits what and four copper I'll how much do you have should we two, split it friend two swords yeah when we get to the group and two swords what two long knives long knives sorry Teratic, you have found five bits and four, uh, three copper in that guy. Thank you. <laughs> Brunhilde, right. did you find any more of those uh, long knives? Yeah, I've got two right here. Anybody you want? Yeah, I'd like to get a hand on one. And then I hand one over. I, uh, I asked. Got one more. Uh, what all weapons did you find? As I see you hide, uh, hand that knife over. I have one more long knife. And he had 13 bits and four copper. Whoever needs money. No swords or anything like that? Sadly, no. Hmm. They look like simple thugs. I mean, I won't turn down the money. I want to take... um the bandana off of the head of one of these guys and just stow it. How do okay. I... Okay, you grab yourself a red bandana. Uh, I split the money somehow. Long knife is a finesse weapon, by the way. For the record. Thank you. Seeing uh, Ryan grab that bandana, I'm going to do the same. And uh, now that I don't have to hold this guy, I'm going to uh, take a step towards Jager. Be like, are you okay, friend? And when I do, I'm going to put a minor healing through him. So uh, half your healing right there. Oh, thank you. I let her out uh, just kind of a, an exacerbated breath and say, yeah. But uh, we told some folks we would check this out. Let's uh, let's keep pressing forward. And I just kind of shrug off the conversation. Well, As we probably I'm shouldn't leave the bodies. Very, very profusely. I said, do we really need to do this right now? And we can dump them back in that alley they came out of. Well, Does anyone see idea. a river? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> we should not be wandering through town carrying bodies if we're trying to be on the side of the law here. Look, just throw them in the house. No one goes in there. Just throw them in the house. Don't be a bad idea. I don't want them to know we're coming tomorrow night if this we do this the same. Okay, well, uh... Does anyone have a blue alley. bandana we could leave as a sign? <laughs> <laughs> no. Sadly, no. <laughs> well, I'm out of ideas. Well, Rather like leave them here. 20 away. feet from the alley. Yeah, I'd start dragging one of the bodies over. I guess I grab uh, this one. This alley? Yeah, yeah. So I got that body over here. That yeah, one. I'll drag one as well. All right. You guys are uh, dragging some bodies. Sorry, I was doing a little something over here. Second. We're hiding the bodies. Hide the evidence. They'll never know. How do I split 13 bits for copper? How many? How much is a bit? One right. tenth. Yeah, 10 bits equal a copper, 10 copper equal silver, 10 silver equal a gold. Oh, well, that's perfect. Uh, I just give everybody one of the coppers. Everybody gets a copper, and I'll just okay. hold on to the 13 bits or whatever. All right. Finder's fee, three bits. Right you guys all drag bodies into the end, or not in the end, into the alley. Uh, Teratic, you know, notice that this is where they came out from as well. Yeah, yeah. You don't think leaving corpses in an alley is suspicious? It's a rough town. Things happen. And it, I don't think it'll get traced back to us either way. All I know is we were being watched in that alley while you were in the tavern. They're going to suspect it's us. But New they won't faces. know. They don't. And what will they do? Know. They are They're not, not going the to expose themselves. They are not the law. They do what they wish. What do you propose we do? But do you think they'll uh, seriously expose themselves? 
Is that not good for us? Uh, regardless of how likely it is, it mind. Wait, what? I think it's, it, it, it's it's on my mind. It's ah, on my mind. I, I I will not rest easy knowing that we left such a clear trace of us while they were the the mere hours after they were watching us. What do you propose we do? I was more opening the floor up for further discussion. We can drag <laughs> one of these bodies to the uh, town guard lady. <laughs> Look what we found! <laughs> I mean, we, we, we could let her go back, let her know, and have her decide what to do with the corpses. That's not a bad plan. Give her probable cause for entry. Uh, I don't know about you, but uh, I'm not in the exact uh, best clothing for an introduction to the town guard. We met her already. I am in Brigadier clothing. It's probably not best for me to uh, walk we the city doing. this way. You okay, again, I don't think it's it's be a bandit problem. gear. Ex-bandit gear. It's our gear now. She'd allow us <laughs> to explain ourselves, I think. But well, I don't know that she would take kindly to us killing townsfolk, even if they were gang members. Well, they started it. He's gonna have to deal with. I yeah, but Jager here tower. finished it. I'd I'd rather well, proceed forward once we throw these bodies in that alley, though. I am. Yeah, I kind of agree course. with going. I don't really want to go in that building right now. How are you so bad? <laughs> I mean, badly hurt. Really long. That's what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no, it's bad. I meant that later. <laughs> uh, having dumped these bodies in the uh, alleyway, do I see any sort of other activity on the streets or maybe from this building or the tower? This area is almost abandoned, it looks like. There's no one or nothing around that you can see right now. What about the buildings? The buildings look fairly run down. Uh, it looks like a couple could be maybe shacks for housing a couple vagrants or homeless folks, but there's nothing here that you would qualify as like, oh, hey, that guy's a homeowner or anything along those lines. Do I see any, like, abandoned houses? Uh, yes. Yes, you do. I point to one and say, perhaps in there. Sounds good. Which house does he point to? I guess I just start dragging one. Of I just turn around and start <laughs> dragging the body back out. North and south, within 30 seconds, you can find uh, houses that have boarded up windows and doors that are, uh, like, half ripped off. The southern one. Because, yeah. yes. Okay. And uh, I'd like to go up to one of the one of the ones that we could potentially get into and just take a peek in there. The w one that looks abandoned that also looks like we could get into. Sure. Uh, you go up to one of the houses, it looks like the door is just hanging on barely by one hinge, just kind of tilted off. You take a peek inside, and it's pretty freaking dark. It's hard to see in there, but it's a very small shack, and it's got, like, where there used to be a wooden floor, there's, like, mud and a little bit of grass growing where the floor used to be. It looks pretty abandoned. Could okay. you do something about that door so I can, you know, get our boys in there? Well, I'll, uh, I'll kind of gently open the, open the door, and I'll say, it looks like we can hide them in here. That sounds great. It's no river, but it'll do. <laughs> and I start dragging the body in. Like okay. behind Does, me. Yeah. You wanna take one of these guys' faces and I just got this one. I kinda like it. <laughs> yeah, but you could you could get information if you walk around with one of these faces. Uh make sure to keep the leaders one looking nice. Uh we'll 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 hold that idea for a little bit. He's only gonna be nice for so long. Does that building that uh, we're putting these bodies into have a window facing the uh, the Moore house? Yes. Maybe we should post up in but here. But it's mostly boarded up. You can see through cracks. Yeah, well, we can open those up a little bit. Not enough to notice, but enough to see out. I'd be happy posting up here. Ugh, really? With three corpses? Do you see me? 
<laughs> Do you You're not gonna have die any second? You'll be fine. Fuck it off. I actually you can't see your damage right now. With all armor on and your fancy clothes and all your coin, I don't have that. <laughs> what coin? <laughs> so just just for the record, to a uh, a little bit a little bit of a side assist here. There are like small little shops where you can buy basic necessities such as healing potions and such. If you're uh, <laughs> if that's what you're worried about. Uh, They're not very expensive. I think y'all got some cash, a little bit of cash on you. Yeah, but how many of those are gonna be twenty four hours? It's not like we can go down to the quick mark. <laughs> now that I can't answer. Oh uh, yeah, I'd like I mean, to go but down we to could the hold mark. out here for a couple hours. Well, I guess I mean it'd be almost eight hours anyway. Do you want to wait tonight and see if their cloaked figures show up? We could follow them in. That's what I'm thinking. I like the idea of waiting. I don't like the idea of following them in. Well, we're <laughs> going to have to take them out at, any, at some point, right? Yeah, but if we're watching, I don't see what the rush is. Well, get the information first. We don't have to go, like, right when they come. Yeah, but at I least mean, monitoring them for information. Yeah, I think Teradoc might might be able to take a face and even talk to them. I'm going to go ahead and uh, shift. My eyes are going to flash green real fast, and while you are discussing it, I'm going to take the form of a bucket guy. of water. <laughs> Sorry. An ice dragon, no. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to take the form of the guy who was uh, feeding us information, not the leader yet. Uh, but, you know, I can change here in a minute if I had to. Okay. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and post up outside the door of the building and everybody just drag bodies into and lean against it. All right. I'm so going to... Uh hobble into this building we just hid the corpses in and pass out. <laughs> <laughs> I'll follow, I'll go into. So what's the what's the plan right now? Uh watch the house, see if we see any sort of guards or a rotation of that type of thing. How long? Or uh our guys are hurt pretty bad. It's a couple hours till dawn. Uh we'll, we'll see what happens till dawn. So, if you're talking about healing, you guys just rested for eight hours. So, you won't be able to rest again for a while. Yep. Here, just make sure you're all aware of that. All right. So, you guys all go into this little shanty of a shanty and just stare at the Morehouse and rest. Everywhere except Thrak. He's kind of just chilling out because he still has uh, blood all over him. Um... What's everybody doing during this? Who's actually staring through the cracks of the window? Who's standing outside? Who's standing inside? I'm staring intently through the cracks in the window. Yeah, okay. I'm also looking through. Since I'm outside the house in the form of one of these dudes, I've got his bandana on. I've got his face. I'm just sort of kind of pretending like I'm not watching it, but watching it pretty hard, too. Okay. Um, so... You guys are looking through the cracks, and uh, Teratic, how far outside are you? Are you leaning against the house? Are you out in the road? I'm leaning against the house, like right up against the door. Okay. Um, about an hour goes by, so it's about 5.30 in the morning, and it just starts to get a little bit a little bit brighter in this area. Uh, it's about that time, Teratic, when you notice something on all fours skittering quickly out into the road oh, as God. it keeps looking all directions. And it sees you leaning against a building. Oh boy. It only sees you, so it freezes. And then stands up on his back legs. And let me show you what this fellow looks like. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Do we see this as well if we're looking through the cracks intently? Uh, it's a little down the road, so you can't see it. No oh boy. Uh, I don't like it. No, sir. Oh, it's the wrong screen. Hold it. I'll drag it out. If it starts moving towards me after it stands up, I'd like to say, be ready at a, a low voice. Uh, it looks like uh, this. Oh, God. Oh, rip. I don't like it. 
Mm -mm. Oh dear. It seems to be just staring at you, tilting its head a bit back and forth. Uh, what would you like to do? I'm going to sort of kind of sing song and go like, be ready to fight. Da, 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 da. <laughs> and and uh, hold my ground. I hear that. I'll go. I'll go. Uh, if um, Thrak is asleep, I'll go kind of shake him up. It's going to slowly start walking to the side, keeping its distance from you, but kind of walking at an angle like it's trying to circle you. I'm going to give it a like a nod, like the the bro nod, like I see you there. It takes one of its long hands and reaches into its cloak and takes out what looks like a very rusted bloody scalpel. Oh dear. And starts slowly walking towards you. I'll I'll move back over to the window and I'll say, "Are we cool? Are we cool?" Don't think so, but we'll see. What is going on? Perhaps you should. What? What? Oh, hold on. I'll say. What? What is it? Bandages, sharp-looking claws, rusty blade. Is it a perhaps? Mommy? Perhaps you should run. Immediately, it stops. As you see it take a take its free hand and kind of adjust what looks like maybe some some monocles or glass magnifiers on its head and leans towards where you're standing a little bit teratic as it seems to be looking past you immediately it falls to all fours and starts skittering at a very fast pace towards the morehouse I'm going to look towards where it looked like you said it was looking past me. Is there anything over there that's uh, threatening? Yes, right behind you is a boarded up window. He has x-ray vision. <laughs> oh god, he probably does. We're fucked. Alright, we're on plan C now. Uh... <laughs> oh god. We've gone to C already. What happened to B? B backfired. <laughs> Wait, what was A? A was there was nothing going to happen. Oh Jesus, I don't like it. So I'll I'll whisper out of the uh, window again. What's going on? Scary thing went towards the house. Uh, I think he knows you're there though. You think he saw us? You told him. <laughs> Why no, would you I tell him? He told him. He told him. Why did he tell? Why did you tell him? It seemed like the right thing to do. And I'm just going to, uh... Oh, God. <laughs> We're screwed. Clean it back against the house for a second. I want to see if anything else comes in or out for maybe five, ten minutes. Oh, God. <laughs> just waiting patiently for those five or ten minutes. Nothing changes. So either he thought I was talking to our dead companions in there, or... He he knows I was talking to you guys. What do you what do y'all think? Or wait, explain to me what happened. What happened? I will relay to Orion what I saw. Okay, you got all that knowledge. Everyone I heard that heard him has that knowledge. I'll say perhaps Perhaps he could see through your disguise. Well that's not good. No, it's not. <laughs> it means I wasted a perfectly good face. Hmm. Why wouldn't he attack us, though? May not be someone capable of attack, but capable of intelligence. He had a scalpel. It was not in good uh, use, though. Hmm. What to do? What to do? Is the sun starting to come up? Uh, well, you know, that's that's uh, a matter of perception, but technically, yes. It's starting to get twilighty, right? Yeah. Perhaps Do I start seeing people in the road? Um, no, you haven't seen anybody yet. No early morning bakers or that type of thing? No, but... Given your earlier interaction with the Rude Boys, it's likely that anyone who approaches this area, i.e. y'all, gets approached by a group of people telling them to go away. 
possible everyone's learned to steer clear of this place. Hmm. Uh. I'm just feeling sort of exposed out here. Uh. Does anybody else have a good plan inside? Well, if we walk into the Moore house, we'll probably die. Uh, given that Jaeger and Thrak are bleeding profusely. Um, take some of that. Perhaps we can uh, check into the shops and uh, just sort of take in the town today and then meet with Elise again and relay to her what we saw. I imagine they're watching us from their house as closely as we're watching them, so we must be careful moving. I'll look to Jaeger and say, Jaeger, what do you think? So I'm grabbing uh, the part of my body that's bleeding, looking looking back in the direction of the of the manor. And I said, I think uh, I think we need to rest before we head back in there. I wonder if there'll be more madmen when we get back. Rude boys. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'll say, uh, well, should we head to, back to the Hidden Dagger then? Uh, well, it, I feel like I should not again walk around in this gear. <laughs> so, so you kick us all out while you change in front of the dead guys? Precisely. Why don't we just hole up here? <sighs> That works for me. <laughs> You're a robot. Everything works for you. <laughs> My bow and arrow didn't. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Somehow broke. <laughs> I'm going to give Ryan a knowing look because I was far enough back to see him do it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll just kind of dim my eyes a little bit. <laughs> so what's the plan here? What are y'all doing? Looks like we're making camp here. You guys gonna spend a whole day? Uh, I Long guess. We can have. Okay. Uh, it's gonna take a decent amount of time. Uh, it's about, I'd say about 6.30, 7 a.m. Um, if you guys are wanting to rest, uh, you won't be able to start until about, when did y'all actually go to sleep? Was it 6? 7. 7 p.m.? So, 7 p.m. is when you can start doing your rest. Is that what you want to do? Does that include the 24 hours? No. Because you guys just woke up. Yeah. We got waylaid. Uh, one thing I will do is dump a minor healing and a cure into uh, the rack since he's at like 2 HP. So, that should give him uh, his healing rate again. Okay. Um... Wait, I think I have something for this. Uh, As a uh, warrior, you should. Yeah. Well, I'll keep us waiting. <laughs> well, I'm looking for it. I don't know where it was because uh, things were put in different places. Oh, it's under spells. We have Sorry. catch your breath. That's it. During, uh, we can use an action or trade action to heal for our healing rate that can be used once per rest. Huh? Or it can be used and can't be reused until we've completed a rest. Correct. I want to do that. Go for it. I'm going to use Nimble Recovery as well to do the same. All right. And that gives me uh, half my healing rate? Oh, Full my healing rate. Full healing? Oh, Jesus. Take That's some deep breaths. Kind of mm. will a few of your wounds away. Feel a little bit more spry. See, you just gotta let it like shed off you, man. <laughs> I don't know. I'm much better, but still oozing blood. Be don't let go... things get to you. You'll be fine. Before I go down for a rest, I uh, 
I take my deep breaths. Starts to feel a little bit better. And go over to Orion and uh, say, good thing you broke that bow, champ. And uh, <laughs> wind his key back. <laughs> I'll say, uh, I'll kind of lean in and I'll say, it started it. <laughs> um, and uh, BR Smith just donated another thousand bits to the chat. Thanks, bro. Oh, Everybody gets one fortune. Out of a total of five <laughs> fortunes. Everybody gets one. Put it on your sheets. Get off of what? Oh my god. <laughs> Put one fortune on your sheets, and make sure to use it when y'all start getting stabbed again. Yeah, I think I'm the only one who's used one, so everybody else should have two at this point. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Where do you put that? In the character sheet to the right of weapons. Okay, gotcha. There's Maybe a, you uh, should have used uh, some fortune points to boost those b uh, bow rolls. <laughs> Need it to get a better bow. <laughs> I don't think the bow's the problem. <laughs> <clears throat> it was definitely the bow. Um, okay, so... Uh, shit, no, I don't have anything to do that. Never mind. I'm just kind of hanging out. Okay. So just to be sure I'm clear, the plan is to wait until about 7 p.m., then start a regular or long rest. Eight-hour rest. A regular rest. Long rest, because we just rested. Okay. You guys have plenty of time. No one wants to go shopping or buy something or anything? I don't, I don't have, have enough money to fucking buy anything. I ain't no bitch. Uh, kind of loaded, but I figure I'm stuck outside guarding y'all guys inside there. I don't want anybody to jump y'all while y'all are sleeping. I appreciate that. Yeah, everything costs like multiple silver. That's useful. Okay. In that case, uh, I'm assuming everyone's just kind of, kind of hang out with the bodies. The the smell is a, uh, it it could be better, <gasps> but. Uh, Teratic, did you say you were going to hang out outside? Yeah, I, I'm still doing the whole fake uh, hired killer thing. Okay. Um, in that case, time's about to pass, so it's gonna pass right... Okay, time just passed. So, it's about <laughs> 1 p.m., Teratic. Orion, where are you, by the way? Because I know you don't sleep or, or chill. I'm just kind of sitting in there, and then occasionally I'll get up and kind of peek out the uh, through the boards. All right, you see. Uh, actually, Teratic, make a perception check with one. Bo well, are you trying to be hidden whatsoever? Or are you just out in the open? I'm trying to be obviously that dude, doing his, the strut he was doing when he walked up to us. All that. Okay, uh, I was. I say you don't have to make a perception check to this because they're not really going out of their way to be too hidden. But it's about this time that you see three men, uh, all armed, what looks like maybe with long, perhaps long knives as well, kind of checking the uh, the houses a uh, quite a bit to the north, but making their way to the south where you are. Uh, he, one of them keeps pointing in there, and one another one shrugs, and uh, they kind of you see him kind of talk back and forth until one of them looks way down the way and sees you, and he kind of holds his arm up and gives one of these. At you, just giving a, a wave as they, they start jogging your way. <laughs> I'll give the wave back. And I'm going to lean back up against the house like I've got nothing better to do. Okay. You're waiting for them to approach? I'm waiting for them to come to me. All right. Uh, finally, all three jog up to you, and one of them's kind of power walking up to you now and has his arms out. What the shit? Where were you? It's manning my post. What do you mean, manning your night. post? When are you supposed to come and get us when it's time to shift? In fact, where, oh, why is it just you? Where are the others? Are they inside? And he points they, to the uh, shack you're standing in front of. They went to get a drink. Yeah, they kind of... They got that money from the dude. They uh, took off. He puts his finger on your chest and pushes kind of hard. This is the reason why the boss is always pissed off with you. You keep doing this shit. You disobey orders, we all get it. You fucking know that. Stop dicking around and get the fuck out of here. <laughs> and and wait, get the right. get the damn dainty drinks wherever they are and go. Uh but uh I don't suggest going in the house. Uh a couple people didn't take the hint. 
think going a little rank in there. What do you mean a couple people didn't take the hint? But they got they, uh, goods on them, and he starts walking past you. Nothing. That I want to go out of towners. I want to move my body quietly and kind of prevent the door from opening. And just block the door. Okay. And just sit up against it. I'm 300 pounds. I should, should at least be good for being a fucking useless rock in front of a door. He puts his hand on the door and kind of pushes it, but notice it's jammed. And gives another, another couple pushes. Yo, he, he looks back to you, Tratic. What the hell's with the door? What? Would you jam the damn thing? What is this? Don't want anybody coming across those bodies. They didn't have anything on them. And definitely don't want the guards sniffing around. Make an, in an intelligence check for me. Oh, God, please. Oh, wait, my stuff broke. Oh, now it's back somehow. He walks up to you again, Teratic, and puts his finger on your chest. Billy. That is the stupidest shit I've ever heard. <laughs> no fucking guards come around here, and you know that, yet that dumb shit still spews out of your mouth. <laughs> One of these days. So what the I'm fuck's in there? Why don't you want problem. me in there? You tell me now, or else we got a problem. Some bodies. If you want to open that thing up, it smells horrible. I'm yeah. going to start walking away from the door and covering my nose just to kind of sell it. Yeah, I'm used to shit stinks. We live in crossings, you nut. He turns around and he like goes that. back to the door. I know you's the type to keep some of the shit on you too, so I'm gonna make sure there might be something for us as he pushes on the door a bit again. This God goddamn damn jam door! And he starts pushing harder. <laughs> make a strength roll for me, Orion. Wait, can I help him? Can I, like, add to Orion's weight? Uh, you can, because right now he's kind of pushing hard on the door, so you don't have to sneak to do it. You can kind of just get there. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> do I roll with I'm a little hardy dwarf. Uh, since she's helping you, yeah, you can get a boon. In fact, get two boons, because y'all heavy fuckers. <laughs> yeah, it's dwarf power. Oh! He gives... Mm, fucking door! And pushes on it, like, three <laughs> more times. And then he turns around, like, angrily, just pointing right at you, Teratic. Billy, you can eat my ass. Fuck this, and fuck you. I'm taking shift. <laughs> fuck off and get out of here. As he turns and just starts stomping off and motions of his men to follow him. Oh my god, I love it. It was great. They go and find a, a nearby alley and duck into it. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> oh god, that's great. And uh, once, once he, once I hear him sort of stomp off, I'll, uh, I'll gently, kind of move out of the way of the door. I got a feeling they're going to be back. <laughs> I'll I'll look at uh, I'll look at uh, Jaeger and I'll say that was a close one. <laughs> oh my god! No kidding. <laughs> yeah, good hold, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and then like I hold my hand up for like an awkward like uh, high five, but if like I also change it to like directly to like a fist bump for Orion, like I'm not sure which one. And she and as she goes to do that. I think she's going up for like a thumbs up, so I just immediately just go for a thumbs up and it stays a thumbs up. <laughs> and then I just fist bump anyways. <laughs> Didn't work. <laughs> Teratic, what, you're still standing outside. What, what's your plan? I'm going to slump down because I'm freaked out that that actually worked. <laughs> uh, that was not my best performance. <laughs> Alright, you uh... see Teratic kind of just fall to his ass, leaning against one of the beams of this shanty. How much time passed for our recovery or whatever? Uh, it was 1 p.m. when this just happened. So that's still right now. About 105 maybe, 115. We going back to chilling? I guess so. Yeah. Ter I, what are you doing, Teratic? I want to, uh, since it's not safe to be standing out here apparently, uh, I'm going to post up at the uh, abandoned house that was across the street to the north. I'm going to go inside of it and uh, watch from there. Go into a different house? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna actually go in the house and be out on the street. Sure. Well, Ryan, perhaps you should uh, sit in front of the door. <laughs> I'll just uh, nod my head and I'll go back over and sit in front of the door. <laughs> All right. Holy rest. Fantastic. In that case, we're about to time warp again, unless someone interrupts me, which they're not doing. All right, so a lot of time passes this time with no new movement. 
It seems the other goons that were here for their shift have already taken their spot wherever the hell that is. O Orion, Brunhilde, Thrak, and Jaeger. All hanging out in this shitty house with dead bodies that are now really starting to smell. Disgusting. And Teratic headed off to his own uh, private abode. But it starts getting a little bit dimmer outside now, as it's about the time where you feel like you could actually benefit from some type of rest if you started. We continuing to wait? Yeah, I guess so. Yep. Yeah. There's nothing I, I really feel safe doing at the moment. <laughs> yeah, I don't, feel, I don't feel like doing anything. Regular rest, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Once it gets dark, I'm going to uh, join the others inside and rest with them. Good luck getting through that door. <laughs> uh, it well, does. Do you, come, do you come to the door? All right. Yeah. That, is that what you want to do? So as it start getting a little bit dimmer, you're gonna walk to their door. Yeah, and go uh, slide in. Uh, do uh, I see anybody? Is, I, the, do the door is jammed. I, I'm going to knock and be like, Orion, open the door. I'm gonna look, and I'm gonna see that it's that it's a, a madman, and I'm gonna say, Who's there? <laughs> the changeling I don't know what that is who is it it's Teratic how do I know it's you because <laughs> you're zero one R one in whatever that's not how you spell I'll turn to everybody guys we have a problem <laughs> has he been down the pub I guess I wake up a little bit what's the problem <laughs> there's a guard at the door who is it? It's Teratic. Why are you it's talking a... to him in the first place? It's Teratic. Orion, move out the way. And I like <laughs> give him a little shove on the shoulder. <laughs> like, I'm not hard, it. just like a. <laughs> yeah. Right. And yeah, yeah, it is Teratic. Just hanging out of that door. Hey, come on in. <laughs> I'll move the door open a little bit. I didn't see anything else. I need some sleep. Uh, big guy, are you garden? I'm sitting. And I sit back in front of the door. It's <laughs> good enough guarding for me. You're doing a great job. <laughs> All right. We're about to do some more time warping. Do it, you won't. So, you guys no start your official rest. Um, is anyone looking out or anyone paying attention to what's going on outside? Or are you guys all just chilling? I'm looking. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. All right. Chill. In that case, the robot. <laughs> Orion, I won't have you make a check because it's fairly easy to hear. But a few more hours go by and it starts getting dark. Actually, I do need to make a check for something else. Make a perception check with a bane. You no seeing bitch. <laughs> okay. Uh, you're kind of peeking outside every now and again just to see what's going on and you swear on the side of the house you saw something skittering on the wall and around the corner oh god not your no. house on the the mm. more house across the street uh, no uh skits, skits, skits. the other thing you hear which you don't have to do a check for is you hear uh, a little bit of shouting uh, it actually sounds familiar very familiar um, you can't make out many of the words, but you hear the name Billy, and then you hear jerking off. <laughs> uh, and then uh, you don't hear anything else. Uh, you can only assume this might be a one of the one of the people that came up earlier and tried to come in, or perhaps they're talking to new people. Maybe they're doing a shift change. Maybe he's just venting. Uh, but either way, that's what you heard. Billy and jacking off. <laughs> I love it. Okay, and what time is it? Uh, it's about 11 o'clock. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to make note of that. I'm not going to wake anybody up based off of that. Okay. A few more hours go by until 4 o'clock strikes once again with no changes, and you guys can gain another rest. Damn. All right. And at about 3 a.m., I'll start kind of waking everybody up. And um, I'll say, guys, we have a problem. Jaeger, Jaeger. And I'll kind of shake him. We've huh? got a problem. Huh? What? what problem? What? What's going on? You know, 
You know the Moore House? Uh, yes, I, I know there's the Moore House. There's a scary monster there. It's climbing on the walls, and it's awful. Also, Teratic is jerking off. <laughs> okay, that's a lot of information to process at once. <laughs> um, the scary monster, did you see it? I did. It was crawling up the side of the building. Okay, did it go in the building? I kind of think to myself. You saw it go climbing around the corner on the outside of the building, but you don't know if it went inside or not. I'm not sure. I just saw it climbing around the corners. Okay. What do you mean, like a spider? Exactly like a spider. And it's awful. <laughs> we should leave. Well, we can't just let it go. I mean, that's the whole point. We're here. I agree. I mean, we could just let it go. That is always <laughs> no. on the table. We are not letting this go. It's we a need to find table. a human-sized newspaper and swat it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave that no. to you. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> You might try inside a river. I'm Listen, pretty sure it wouldn't last there. We need to go inside of this place. I need to know who's ready to go in and who's not. I'm ready. 100%. Well, you know I'm always with you, buddy. Then we need to get in there and find out what's going on. Uh, how bad do those bodies look? Uh, they're going to be a little sour, but they shouldn't be too rough, right? Uh, they're, um, I mean, about a day's worth of rot. So if you leave a dead body for a day in an area with no vent no real ventilation, I guess it's kind of chilly. And they're not too bad. I'm going to switch to the, the leader from Billy, so that way, uh, it's different face the next time they run across us. Okay. So you guys all exiting? I think so. Yeah. Yes. Yep. All right. You start walking out into the street and heading towards the Moore house as a group of five. Uh, it's about that time when you hear a, a voice from one of the nearby alleys yell out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey. And you turn around turn to look. Yeah. And you see uh, three well, it looks like they could belong to maybe the same group that you've dealt with before. Uh, the one in front yells out, Hey, what are you, uh, you, what are you guys doing? It's all right. They're with me. They're, uh, special goods. <laughs> Is... And, uh, once you call out, he actually looks to you. Wait a... Wait a second, Joey? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the... <laughs> What are you what are, what are you doing what are you doing? It's a it's a side mission. Uh one of the those funky guys in the outfits set it up. Side I mission. Think these guys are getting the uh special treatment. <laughs> the special oh wait, the special treatment. Yeah, the special treatment. <laughs> you mean you're gonna get you're gonna serve them up to the Oh wait, no. Um make a make an intelligence roll with two boons. Oh boy. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Use your, use your fortune. <laughs> wait, don't we have other fortunes just hanging in the air? Yeah, we got a ton of fortunes. You do. Use them. All right, so if I use the fortune, what does that do for the roll? Just add another boon, right? Fortune does a whole lot of different things. Allow me to tell you some of them. Uh, you can turn any d20 roll into a success. You can turn the result of any d6 roll into a six. You can gain two boons to anyone else's roll. You can alter the narrative slightly. Let's go ahead and blow a fortune just so I don't have to do this intellect roll that I was really looking forward to. <laughs> okay, you do your challenge roll. You pass it with flying colors. He looks at you. Okay, yeah, just, you know, just uh, any motions for you to come close as he starts walking forward a bit. I, I take a step or two towards this direction, but uh, I sort of kind of make it look like I don't want to leave these people alone. He... And, uh, mm -hmm. and I wait for him to uh, say what he wants to say. 
He walks right up to you and kind of leans in. Just, just make sure when that thing does whatever the fuck it does with them, just bring us some of the stuff back, okay? All in this together. Capiche? All right. And he gives you two shoulder pats, and he starts walking back. And he uh, looks at his two friends. Looks like another boring night. Let's let's go. Oh, right over the back where we were. And they head back towards uh, a nearby alley. Uh, before they go, I I want to get yell. Hey, what inn are you guys gonna be at tonight? No, we don't do that shit. We're gonna be in one of these shitholes. As he's pointing to the, all the abandoned houses. I met after. Just do your thing and come talk about it later. And as he I continues walking. We're going. He just keeps walking <laughs> off. And I'll uh, I'll chime up and I'll say, uh, "You told us there would be no special sauce. You told <laughs> us. No. No, we were providing the special sauce. Oh my goodness." Okay. All right, uh, let's get in before we have to do that again. <laughs> yeah, start walking towards the house again. All right, you guys walk to the Moore house. The two doors look quite old, but they're still held up for the most part. Uh, they are wooden doors with a little bit of iron on them with two iron rings in the middle. It looks like you can pull or push open. Are we going inside? I want to take I'm not touching that door. <laughs> I want to take the red bandana out of my backpack and uh, <laughs> tie it around my head. <laughs> okay. You tie a red bandana to your head and look pr like a pretty badass robot man now. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll turn to uh, Teratic and I'll give him a thumbs up and like a like a head bob, like a nod. I will have gone for the fist bump, but realize <laughs> it's not a good idea to pull back. <laughs> and I'll say, let's get these prisoners in here. <laughs> Uh, right. Uh, After you. Um, I'll go up to the door, and I just want to see if it's unlocked. I don't necessarily want to open it. Uh, when you go up to the door, you just grab one of the rings. You pull, and it doesn't really give, but when you push, it easily starts just creaking open. Are there any windows to, well, that's like, not in the immediate there, vicinity? There are, and they are completely boarded up. Shit. So I'll just turn back and look at everybody, everybody, excuse me. And then I'll brighten my eyes a little bit, like, are we doing this? Yeah. Not Carry on. Let's go. Okay. You're the one with the to, bandana. <laughs> I want to very quietly and stealthily try to open the door. It was a push door, wasn't it? <laughs> yes. It is a push door. I'm surprised we didn't have to roll for that, but... Well, that's what he just found out. So, you're going inside? Yes. Okay. Wait just a second Very here. quietly and stealthily. Um... Is everybody going in stealthily? Or are you just going in real... Just naturally just kind of being real cautious to your surroundings while going in? Being real cautious, following behind Orion. I'm going in stealthily. I'm going, yeah, I'm uh, definitely staying stealth as, if I can. I'm not a very stealthy person. So if you're <laughs> so traveling as a unit going cautious. and trying to stealth, I'd have you all roll, but if one of you fails, that's basically a failed stealth check. So are y'all going in together? Zero stealthy. I'll, um... Mm. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll turn and I'll say, uh, let me just get a peek in. <laughs> I'll wait then. Can we uh, go ahead and step in and close the door behind us at least? Not if we're trying to be uh, quiet. All right, then after you, big just, guy. Just hold one minute, one second. <laughs> I'll try to <laughs> just, like try to open the door and just sneak in. I just want to get a lay of the land inside the door before everybody comes in. All right. Um, you creak the door open. Are you actually going in or are you sticking your head in? Like, I'd say I'm going, like, halfway in. Okay. You open the door enough to get your body through and walk in halfway. It is pitch black in here. You can't see a damn oh, thing. <laughs> we sent the blind man in. I'll, uh, after saying that, I'll uh, quietly step back out and say, uh, Guys, there's nothing in there. <laughs> <laughs> Like, 
with my shadow sight, can I see that it's just pitch black in there and he can't see like a table two feet in front of him? Uh, with your shadow sight, you can look in and see it's exceptionally dark, but you can still see in there. And uh, there is stuff in there, yes. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> well, if we're actually going to do this, I don't think stealth is going to work. Uh, he can't see, and some of you guys aren't very quiet. So I'm going to go ahead and reach into my uh, backpack and pull out a torch. You're going to pull out a torch? Yeah, go ahead and pull out a torch. Go. All right, this is our last chance. Are we ready to do this? Aye. Do we yeah. want to do this right at the door? Uh, it's well, kind of dark in there. Dumble on ourselves. We kind of have to. Okay. Plus, I'm wearing the bandana. Everything's cool. <laughs> All right, you guys going in? Yes. Going in. Okay. Torch lit. You open the door and enter the area. You're able to see, due to Teratic's very kind torchlight. Give me just a second here. As you enter this area, it's very dark in here and very dank. The smell in here is fairly foul. This place looks like it's probably been abandoned for a good while. Uh, the room you're in currently looks like it could be some sort of lounging area. You see a couch that's molded with cushions ripped up. What looks like could be a fireplace. A table with pages and books kind of torn out laying on it that look way too old and moldy to be any use now. What doors do I see? Right now, we're in the mode where you guys have free reign over your characters and you will see everything you're supposed to see. But the moment anything interesting happens, I'll stop you. Uh, my question, or if you're free, is that are any of the walls doors or just that one open one at the uh, south end? Uh, whatever you see on the map that looks like a door is a door. <laughs> like Can you to, even uh... see anything? <laughs> You're just moving around yeah, in the dark. There's tor there's torchlight, so I can see with the okay. torchlight. Teratic like is emitting to, torchlight. I like to hold my hand to the fireplace to see if I feel any recent warmth. No warmth whatsoever. I'd okay. like to walk over here and just kind of like, can I peek up these stairs? Uh, you would have to actually go there. Looking at the stairs, you see it goes up and turns and goes up a bit more. But there is a wall blocking you a little bit up the stairs. You'd have to go all the way up to see what's up there. Oi! These stairs go up! Uh, As most stairs do. <laughs> well, half, half of stairs. The other half goes down. Is this blood? <laughs> and I'll, like, lean down <laughs> to the blood that's on the floor, it looks like. Alright. Uh, hold on a second, let me explain the blood. Something about blood. So, you and kneel down, over. Orion, and you see some dried stained blood on the ground very very old very brownish deep uh color um thrak are you looking down the hallway right now i'm trying to see what i can see but it doesn't look like much well it's not long for shortly it comes in the view a floating blue apparition that looks like a woman just kind of levitating your way oh uh guys guys uh yep. there's a a blue woman coming this way it's about what? 10 feet away oh. from you and a then I, I immediately pull out my club and my uh shield getting ready for a battle i jump behind this desk <laughs> what are you doing o'brien i don't like blue ladies <laughs> it you reaches about right here and starts cutting diagonally very slowly i'm gonna stay right where i am not Is moving it coming towards the torch it moves another five feet right here <laughs> is it coming towards the torch or is it sort of kind of going towards the stairs i just stare at it it moves yeah, another five another feet move. right here oh, oh, I, I, move hello? I, I try and like, Get behind the desk. hello it starts Bruna. floating towards brunhilda I walk over and I grab oh. Brunhilda by the back of her collar and I drag her over behind the desk. Yeah, I don't really resist. I just kind of let that happen. <laughs> it's 
stops right above this bloody pile facing the couch. In its right hand, slowly, you see what looks like a long spectral blade appear in its hand as it raises it up to its neck, sticks it in, and starts slicing its neck and then falls limp to the ground and disappears. Uh, This is not a good place to be. Everyone who saw that make a will challenge roll for me. Oh, jeez. I'll look at Brynhilda and Jaeger and I'll say, "Did, did Did I... Cause that? Mm. I don't think that was you. You say a will? Will. Yeah. Oh, no. That hurts. I'm going to. No. Yeah, okay. Do we have to call out a fortune? Before you roll, yeah. Okay. I'll know that for next time. Actually, no, I don't think you have to because the way it reads, let me read it real quick. Uh, just a second here. Turn your d20 roll into a success so you can use it after your roll. Okay. Mm. What does this doing to do to me? We're gonna Something gain bad, isn't it? Anyone who rolled less than a it. 10 gains one insanity. I don't want it. I'm going to use a fortune. Hey, then you do not gain insanity. As you steal yourself against this fucked up spectacle that just happened and the clear dried blood where this happened. I give Orion, like, a pat on the back. It's okay, buddy. (laughs) We'll get through this. I would like to examine the blood. Uh, I have medical profession. Uh, Maybe I can tell about how long ago this occurred. Sure. Um, You go ahead and head over and kneel down to that blood. Go ahead and make a uh, intelligence roll with a boon. Intelligence. Two weeks, two days, I can't really tell you guys. <laughs> you can tell it is very old. You're just not sure how old. I'll uh I'll walk back up to it without touching it this time. And I'll look at it and I'll look at Teratic and I'll say Yep. It's what we thought. It's blood. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for your expert opinion. Uh, we're all standing around this table. Does any of this uh, paperwork look useful? All molded and rotten and unreadable. Oh, uh, so she came from the hallway. Are we going up? I see Jaeger going. I'm just kind of peeking up the stairs, seeing that there's really just shadows at the top of the uh, stairway. No, no, we're not. <laughs> Was this a bad idea? This is what we need to do. Uh, this is about the only idea. <laughs> I start so, kind of poking my head down the hallway and I go, it's uh, even darker down here. Uh, hold on, let me come back this way. Uh, you guys coming? I will go where the light goes. <laughs> As you yeah, make your way together. down this hallway, you see puddles of murky, disgusting water and rotten walls around you. There's also a door right next to you. Ugh. To the north or south? Uh, to the disgusting. north is the gross murky water and rotten walls. To the south are, is a set of double doors. Okay. And then the hallway goes further, of course. Do we want to go through these doors? I mean, might as well. We're here. All Find right. out where the blue lady came from. Came from. Mama I Smurf think knows it's... we're here. I think it's safe to say that stealth is no longer an option, so I'm just going to kick the door in. You're going to kick the door in? Yeah. Okay. Give me just a second. Sure. Wild card. Yeah. Wild card, bitches! So you kick the door open that's right in front of you. And immediately once you do that, the other door flies open with it. And you see a large rat right in front of you. However, seeing as you kick the shit out of the door, it immediately scurries in another direction. (laughs) I don't see any sign of people, a surprise or anything like that, right? Uh, No. Uh, There are two more very large rats that Jaeger gets really close to. And I got to pause everybody because they're going to lunge at him. Ah! 
We'll go into fast actions first. Jaeger, you can respond. I'm uh, gonna swing my club to the left one. Okay, smash that rat. Yeah. You take your club, seeing this rat lean up and kind of go <laughs> right at you, look like it's about to gnash on you. <laughs> uh, and you smash it right into this box as it's nothing but a bloody pulp now. <laughs> All right. Um, I'll, oh, well, I'm, not in, I'm not in range. Any other fast turns? Uh, Brunhild's just kind of short. Do I have line of sight to the other rat? Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and do a magic dart on it. Okay. Thanks. That automatically hits. Yep. Your dart pierces into this rat as you hear it shriek in pain and fall off of this crate. And also die. It did. Whoa. Well, uh, okay. Watch oh, we're not done those. yet. Oh. Any other fast turns? Uh, I'm going to move back outside the room. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Just squeezes past us, giant ass robot. Excuse me. Uh, excuse me. Well, hey, where are you going? Huh? What? Slow turns. <laughs> Any slow turns? <laughs> slow I'm turns. Move into the room so I can see what the hell's going on. All right. Yeah, I don't know where to move. I mean, like I can't see anything. Well, you can see, right? It's not pitch black. It's not pitch black, but the only thing I can see is like. Dude, right? Well, it's because what it's because Paradox just in the doorway. He's, the, he's our source of light. Mm. Yeah, but I got dark, dark sight. Yeah, Thrak and uh, Brunhilde are the only two who can see in the dark. Well, and Tyrannic, I guess. Oh, I see now. What are you doing, Thrak? You moving in? I, I got a slow turn. Thrak, we're on slow turns. What are you doing? You just moved in? I'm gonna, yeah, I'm moving here. Um, and if either of these guys come in to uh, range, I'm gonna have Dick fight him. Okay. Brunhilda? Um, so can I technically see uh, past him or not? Right? You can only like, see what your character sees right now. Because he is taller than you. Well, you can scoot your head around and, like and see some see some large rats in the distance. Well, do I have to? Uh, I don't know. Uh, okay, so I see large rats in the distance. Mm hmm. So I know about that. Mm hmm. So can I just go in? Yeah, go for it. Get in there. I want to smash it. You rush up to one of the rats and go to bash it. I'm gonna do it! She's gonna wreck it. <laughs> Your club cracks into the boards, which also seem fairly rotten, as it cracks the boards themselves, but this rat's able to get out of the way of your swing. Ooh. What? Damn. Defense. What up? Both rat of these rats are gonna move up to you, Brunhilde, and try to <laughs> nip at you. Yee! I gotta pull up their stuff here, as it's gonna... Is it gonna... You're gonna hit nat twenties anyways. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> well, it's fine. maybe not, but they will have a better chance because these creatures have the pack fighting ability, so they're going to get some attacks with boons on you. Here's the, the first one for twenty eight coming up. <laughs> Does that hit you? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, mine is fourteen. All right, that, that is gonna be a hit then. Uh, make a strength challenge roll for me. Ten or better. Yeah. Okay. The bite stings, but you kind of grit your fist and and just just kind of bleed out whatever it just did to you. As you only take uh, one damage in that bite. Ah, you little shit. The other one comes <laughs> in for a bite with a boon. Uh, but this one can't get its teeth to sink into you. It's just, it's just a little guy. Well, probably about up to your knees, but still a little guy. Ugh, disgusting. Uh, that'll bring us to a fast round. Uh, I want to hit the rat in front of me. Do it. The one that bit me. Angry at it. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. 
With the one that tried to, the one that did bite you. Yeah. And you smash him into, and end up just dust. He is Take obliterated. That, little shit. Any other fast turns? I'm going to fast turn, but I'm not attacking on. Uh, is that a table below Thrak? Uh, that is a table, yes, with a plate on it. Uh, is it something? Oh, well, I'm just gonna get to here so that way I can see what's going on in this room. Okay. All right, no more fast turns. This rat's going for another bite then, with no boons. Bring it on. Ha! And you just kind of kick it away every time it tries to get its face close to you. Slow turns. I'm going to run into the room now that there's light in here. <laughs> and I'm going to pull out my long knife and run straight at this rat <laughs> and say, uh, not today, fiend. <laughs> Got that rat. And I will attack with trickery. I'm going to fake it out. I'm going to make it look like I'm swinging left, but I'm swinging right. Nope. Oh, boy. <laughs> and I... I trip and fall. It was, it was <laughs> this, such a valiant effort. This thing's still just kind of dancing around, skittering. Uh, Any other slow turns? I don't know what's yeah. wrong with my dice. I'm gonna yeah. <laughs> Good. And I have dick bite him. All right, get in there. As, uh... Brian? Dick bites deeply onto this thing, and I have to... I have to ask again, is he going to eat this rat? <laughs> uh, I have told him uh, in our time away not to, but... <laughs> is, is there a <laughs> chance? Much I can do. So there's a high chance it won't happen, but there's a small chance it will? Yep. Okay, go ahead and make a... Uh, let's make an intelligence challenge roll with two boons, then. Ooh. What's it like to fight... <laughs> to hit something. That's Why what you think I picked a, uh, a healer class with uh, autom guaranteed hits? Dick hears you, but it, as always, he's just gonna he's gonna dick off instead <laughs> as he just chews up this rat and eats it. <laughs> and I need Dick to wake, make a strength challenge roll with a with oh, one boon. God, God. again, here he goes. Oh God. Yeah, Dick. As Dick, yeah. after eating the rat, just kind of starts panting and looking up at you happily. <laughs> oh, you dumb bastard. <laughs> and we are Easy done boy. with the rats. And on <laughs> top of that, this is where we're going to stop for the night. We did it. We beat four rats. <laughs> <laughs> we're so good at this game. Each. <laughs> <laughs> you each. You did beat the rats. Hey, and y'all dealt with those, uh, those rude boys, huh? Yeah. Those yeah. are some tough yeah. motherfuckers. And then you talked away the other ones. Yeah. Very got, rude. We got rid of the madmen. <laughs>